order up. Hello. How's it going? Hello, Trinity. How's it going? Hello, Bugs. Good to see you. I scrambled. Scrambled to be ready in time today. Because I got up late. Go figure. <laughs> um, that's because I slept late. Because I was working on something. But then got distracted by like 20 other things. Because of course I did, right? It's kind of my thing. Get distracted by 20 things. Uh, guess what today is? What? What day is today? A birthday? Hello, Subzora. Good to see you. Also, Dragon's Dogma 2, which I'm going to play when it comes out, right? Um, a character creator came out for it and is available on Steam. I don't know if it's also available on consoles as well, but, you know, if you have a computer and you plan on playing Dragon's Dogma, I just want to take a look at the character creator. It's free. It's a free character creator demo. Um, yeah. <laughs> While I pull up, whoops, I almost opened Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> uh, we're opening the Thaumaturge. Probably as soon as stream is done. This is my 100th stream in a row. Nice. Congrats, Trinity. One hundo. A solid hundo. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Where are my frames? Hold on. Whew, that was rough. <laughs> Here, let me switch to the game. Um, let me switch to the game. That was... When I booted it up, I had like 10 frames, maybe, at most. Whoops, I just hit my mic again. I have the weirdest setup. If I showed you guys how my mic is set up, because my mic isn't heavy enough for my um, mic arm, I actually have a um, I have a tape measure attached to my mic arm to keep it weighed down a little bit. I could have got they have like actual weights you can get for your mics, but why do that when I have a tape measure just right here already? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. You're very happy with yourself? Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty impressive if I'm being honest. Like the fact that you can sit here and tune in consistently a hundred times in a row is kind of wild. Again, other than the one, I think maybe you probably couldn't have tuned into like the 18 plus one because I think I had that marked 18 plus. It might not have even let you in. Other than that, you've been to every stream. Every stream since you've first shown up, which is amazing. I'm drawing right now? Nice! Hello, Ava. Good to see you. I'm reading, I want to die. It'll, it's okay, the reading will pass. <laughs> you can make it, you can do it. Imagine showing up to every stream. I know, yeah, Lucas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lucas, the serial lurker. Always here, you never know. You never know if Lucas is here. <laughs> I'm gonna go again, all right. You never know if Lucas is here until you try to call him out, and then he'll either pop up or he won't. And even if he doesn't pop up, it doesn't mean he's not here. It just means he, he's not paying attention to you. <laughs> oh, God. I was there only for a second at the start. Okay, that works. <laughs> Maybe for you. Yeah, that's fair. Uh... I found out that Juliet fell in love with Adam's dad. Please end my suffer. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know who Juliet or Adam are calling me out like that. Look, I know what I know what it is. He relishes in the uncertainty. I think he does. I think he likes I think that Lucas enjoys that the people he watches have no idea at any moment if he's watching or not. It leaves them in this constant state of oh, Lucas might be here. I will say, I do think about it periodically. I'll be like, whenever I go to thank the lurkers, I'm like, will Lucas be here to hear it? 
from the Shatter Me series. I have no idea what that is. I don't mind if you talk about me. Go on. Don't be shy. <laughs> I've never said anything bad. I can say that. Uh, what is this? Shatter Me. Oh, wait. I've seen this. I like how the first... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Alright. Do you have to read it, or are you forcing yourself? I have a feeling that Ava's reading it by choice. I have a feeling. Alright. Um, let me continue the game. You'll hear me periodically mute so I can eat, so... If I stop talking at any point know that that's why. Because between the, uh, the food and the coffee, I have to make sure I consume. Hello, Donut. Hello, everyone. How are you in this fine time zone? How is everyone in their fine time zones? It is 11 in the morning for me. I am barely alive. This is still early for me. Wait, I've been here already. What's this? Oh, I have a level. Um. See, we can't see past this. There could be more. Like, we know that there's these ones coming up, but there could even be more. I just don't feel like there are. Um, imagine reading. Can't relate. I have a hard time with reading lately. I used to read a lot when I was much younger. I used to read all the... Oh, this costs two now. Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Um, I want to know the book series because it was so famous. So you were like, uh, why don't I give it a try? I don't want to read it again. Ah, got it. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I've never... I have never heard of it till now, so... This is new to me. Let's go ahead and develop this. And then we'll hold more points. We gotta hold points so we can start getting these other perks. Always oh, say reading. Can't read novels in the life of me. Books love reading. Yeah. I used to be very big on reading. Um, when I was much younger, uh, a small wee lad, uh, I used to read all the time. Like, legitimately... I would be reading... Oh. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. What? You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad. I didn't even realize that I could... She was here. Love at a funeral. Eros postmortem. Is it suitable for a uh, young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Uh, I recommend you to not read it if you want to get traumatized. But I always hate reading. Kind of read like, yeah. Thank you. And you, sir? I, on the one hand, she's being rude to my sister. On the other hand, I don't know what their relation is. We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. All right. <laughs> I don't like her. I don't like her tabloids uh recommend you to read the king of sins made by anna huang oh my god the lord of pride hmm interesting interesting Oh, 
Oh God. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Uh, I hated reading when I was little. I was forced to read what I didn't like. Then I discovered fantasy and sci-fi. My life changed. So do I. I hate her. I so when I um when I was very young, I read pretty much everything, right? But I read a lot of Harry Potter. I was forced to read Harry Potter, and I can only read manga. I read a lot of Harry Potter by choice. Um, I want to say I read the first four books when I was like, hold on, how old was I when that when those came out? Let's see. Harry Potter books initial release. The books, let's see. The fourth book came out when I was very young. Um, but I think I read it. <laughs> I think I read it like a year or so after it came out. So I would have been like eight. Did you search the book series? Yes, I did. Of course I did. <laughs> Are you searching it? Yes, I did. Um, but yeah, I, I was like eight or something when I read it. Uh, I will ask Lydia. I will not. I can sort it out, but it might cause you some trouble. It's not worth getting your hands dirty over. All right. Get out of here, or I might decide you're attacking oh an Imperial official. Yeah. And you'll wake up tomorrow in the Citadel. Are you threatening me, Judge? I'm actually sparing you from him. Would you rather try your luck with a Taumaturge? Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. Hey, thank you for the follow, Jace Martin. I used to read 007 books and expand the movies instead of a movie cutting parts out of the book. Interesting. Do you like reading books? If yes, read the Twisted series. <laughs> it's funny because I saw immediately the Twisted series was in that same search where I looked up the um, King of Sins series. It then said, this is related to the Twisted series. And I was like, oh. And then it showed the Twisted series books on the in the corner and I was like, oh, I see. I see. Yeah. I've never, I didn't even know there were 007 books. I probably would have liked that. I read classics in childhood. Crime and Punishment was not very inspiring for a seven-year-old. That's fair. I'm back and I'm going to be going to get my hair cut. Well, I'm sure it will come out nicely. Make sure to pay attention and definitely tell your barber if there's something you don't want them to do and something you do want them to do. Be 100% sure. Um, I've learned that... Uh, being vocal about it is very important. I had a friend who was studying to be a barber, or studying to be a cosmetologist who was doing... <laughs> you know what? I won't talk about this story. It's not that it's mean or anything, but I really don't need to. The books are 18+. plus. Yeah, I realize that. I realize that. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> so for the record, don't check those books out if you aren't ready for a series that is uh, adult. <laughs> I, I I understand your zeal, but let's oh <laughs> let's not recommend adult novels <laughs> to, to the to the audience. I we we could talk about that another time <laughs> in, in another uh, another avenue maybe. I mean, I have my hair red, maybe not pink like yours. That's fine. That's what I was about to say. Thank you. After dark, yeah, maybe in the after dark, after dark, after dark talk. Um, the game looks beautiful. Yeah, this game looks really good. Um, yeah, I'll go. Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Oh my god, the lawyer. I still don't know what it's about, though. Um, where to find it? Oh. Wow. Guys, did you know I have a other YouTube channel? that is where I post or will proceed to post um, audios. <laughs> this is going to be the only time I ever talk about anything that's 18 plus, And it's because I have it synced up to all these things should be marked as 18 plus. That way people can't get in. 
I'm gonna get some lunch. Chat, behave while I'm gone. Yes, chat, behave. Uh, I like the depressing atmosphere of utter misery. Yes. If you guys didn't already know this, I have a second YouTube channel where I do audios or where the focus will be on audios, um, which will be likely more personal in feel than I typically have done on this channel. If you would like to check that out, then please go ahead, visit that YouTube link and drop me a follow and you will see future content. Um, like the one that I'm currently writing. Run. <laughs> no stream to talks. I don't know. I might. There might be points where I do like just little chats. When did it go live? It went live uh, last month. None of my stuff is NSFW. Mine either. But I mark Please, it as 18 plus because I upstairs to waiting. But try for jittery. Being Wonder being older as I am. Being always Thank you. Thank you. Subbed. Thank you. Let the guests being wait. um first I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle. <laughs> being you ancient as I am. Uh I feel uncomfortable Make sure making audios stay that are sober. Oh, I thought he sounded drunk. Either. Um, being older as I am, uh, I am a little Victor, uncomfortable with God the idea that covered, but people under 18 right could be listening to some you. of the audios that would you be a little more personal. Like so I youth. just marked everything Completely 18 plus to be safe. Image. It does kind of kill my reach, but I'm not really you. concerned with reach. I'm more concerned with just making stuff that makes me happy. <laughs> and I have fun with so. Could you do a daddy voice then? Not now. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Hold on. I'm as old as you. Ancient in my butt. Yeah, I know. Look, I just want to be clear. Hello, Jira. Good to see you. You killed the reach via kids. Yeah. Well, the thing is, right? YouTube doesn't push content, which is the majority of YouTube. That's very true. YouTube doesn't push content that's marked as 18 plus. You get pushed much less. And it's not that you just get pushed much less to, like, kids, because you're not for kids, right? But you also get pushed much less to everyone. Um, YouTube very much pushes their all-ages content for good reason, because they have a majority of uh, their, their user base is young. So they push all-ages content. But yeah, anyways... Which is the majority of YouTube. That's the most important thing. You being comfortable. Yeah. It's very important to me. Very valuable to me to be uh, comfortable doing what I do. But yeah. There will probably be things like that. Of that nature. There was a short in particular. Well, I... Oh. I posted a short that I would never have posted on my normal channel. Not because it's particularly... Uh, adult or anything i just i just uh would rather it be there cole knows <laughs> cole saw it <laughs> Oop, now i gotta go back well i'll be back all right sounds good i'll see you then um i was not paying attention okay so um, yeah, make sure he makes it upstairs sober. Master Victor, Victor, good God, half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. Uh, you look just like your father is you, completely his spinning image. Should I make you some cocoa? Wow, cocoa. Hey, it's Havel. Sorcerer Havel, how's it going? Whatever makes you happy, don't I? Don't shit yourself too much. I know. That's exactly the way I take it. Resident Evil 2 Remake ain't scary, even analog horror scarier. Which one was Evil 2? I think 2... Was 2... 2 was more action-y. 1 was more horror-themed. Right? Hold on. Which one was... So, 1... No, wait. No. It is 2 that's more horror-themed. Because 2 is one Leon. Yeah, never mind. Resident Evil 2 is horror is more horror themed. Um, I wouldn't say it's scary though. It's definitely more horror themed than like three. Like three is not at all scary. I would say three is not at all scary. I would say two has horror aspects, but I wouldn't call it scary. It's not designed to be like scary. It's just supposed to be tense. Um 
I'm, I've never really found analog horror scary. Maybe it's maybe it's the generational gap because I grew up with analog. <laughs> so it doesn't scare me. Um, it's just very silly to me. Make cocoa for Ligia. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. Tea with vanilla and rhubarb? Recommend for calming nerves? I'll have to try that. Oh, that's a lot of people. I'm gonna go check on uh, Uncle. The scary part of analog horror is because it's made to be similar to the emergency announcements of old wartime broadcasts. I think so. I think that sounds about right. Well, some of them. Some of them. There was also that one amateur movie that invented found footage. Was the first found footage film not... Um, what's it called? Standing in the corner, Blair Witch. <laughs> I like how this lady says Coco. Yeah, yeah. I think about that movie a lot. I think about that movie a lot and its impact on society. Which is a weird thing to say. But I remember hearing that people did legitimately think it was, like, real. The Blair Witch Project. Something which something, yes. <laughs> Bust of Siren. Sharp avian features bear a wild, disturbing kind of beauty. They make you want to fall into her clutches and be lulled into an eternal dream by her sweet song. Yet her... Hold on. Yet her cryptic slight smile makes a subconscious primal part of your being cower away from the predator. But isn't a soul the only fair price for the bliss of giving yourself up to that enchanting creature? Is this a, a siren? Oh, siren. Siren. Ah, interesting. What? Clothes? Get changed? Hello? If you want to change your clothes, use the wardrobe. You can expand your clothes by visiting a tailor. What? There's a clothings? What? I played the Blair Witch Project on Windows 98 when I was a kid. Now that was the stuff of nightmares. I can believe it. Serious photo. Straight backs. Stern expressions. Notes in the air. Noses in the air. Two boys that are just trying to meet everyone's expectations. Something went wrong here. Who are they? Got one thaumaturgy point. That's good. Message from mother. Dear child, stop it. Stop. Oh, wait. This is a... It's not a statement. This is a telegram mess. It's a... Dear child, stop. It is with great sorrow that I have received the news of Stanislaw's death. Stop. Unfortunately, I will not be able to attend the funeral ceremony. Stop. My duties in Paris keep me from traveling to Warsaw at this time. Stop. I join you both in mourning and sorrow. Stop. Mama. For anybody who doesn't know what a telegram is, uh, they would send messages through a, um, was it, was it Morse? Did they set, were, were telegrams Morse code? I actually don't know. That, I was about to make a claim to that. Telegrams Morse code? Yeah. So, uh, because there was no Morse code for a period, you would instead put the stop. <laughs> the stop would be your your uh, your punctuation. The other power and telephone lines, yeah. My letter from Rome, July eighteen ninety six. Dear sister, I'm writing you because sleep eludes me. As I wrote before, I've found a suitable candidate. 
However, I'm still struggling to reach his flaw. I feel that Paimon is within my reach. I even saw him. Vaguely, but I did. I'll stop here because my nerves prevent me from continuing. W. P.S. Yes, I will be careful. Don't think me a fool like father. Alright. The Polish Gazette, Evening Edition, Obituaries. At the cemetery in Montmorency on Sunday, the body of the distinguished writer and citizen, the late Suwern Suwernia Duczynska, was laid to rest. A handful of compatriots escorted the coffin amidst the pouring rain. The funeral service was very modest. In accordance with the wishes of the deceased, the sums allocated for wreaths were deposited in the coffers of the Klodja Potokak Charitable Society. Late Antoni Bijelinski? <laughs> ah, I'm having so much trouble. <laughs> but I'm doing it. I'm trying at least. Retired. Age 91. And back. Welcome back. The late Barbara Cicala. Cicala. Age 45. The late Stanislaw Schulski. Entrepreneur. Age 63. Warsaw Funeral Company. M. Chiska. Chiska. The company arranges funerals, exhumations, and the transportation of corpses, a factory, warehouse, of metal and wooden coffins, mourning hats, crepe paper, and a vast selection of items used in the time of mourning. Well. Another letter. Also from 1986? Sister of mine. I feel well enough to write something to you. The doctor also recommended I do so. Not alone in my anguish, I share a room with one Rifford Morton, whose last name escapes me. Oh, his last name was not Morton? They brought him from London, Dr. Seward's clinic. A very interesting case. He spends his days hunting for the moths, cockroaches, and ladybugs, and beetles that come here sometimes. Excuse me? Excuse me? He eats them. He says it gives him strength to wait for the coming of the Lord, but I don't think he means the Savior. I cannot yet reconstruct all the details after the debacle with Paimon. My mind is still in tatters. Paimon visited me no more than a week ago. No, that's impossible. It probably happened only in my mind, but it was so clear. He, as the King of Hell, with his host of demons, with the shadows of his penitence, called for me to join them. It was so real. I'll stop here. I'm having a hard time gathering my thoughts. W. Dang. I tried to catch the Lord of Hell? Man. <laughs> this guy really is the flaw of hubris. Pseudomonarchia demonem. Compared to Crowley's Ars Gosha, there are... Three fewer demons. No evidence that all demons are salutors. Batim, a false lead. Pusel, a false lead. Anton claims the subject of Oribus, mere boasting. Marcosius, expect to take on the form of a wolf with the wings of a griffin and the tail of a snake. This is just a... Chimera? Manticore? What is it? What's that creature? Except instead of a lion, it's a wolf. According to De Plancy, he takes the form of a wild lioness. Interesting observations by Crowley. Demons are unexplored fragments of our minds. However, in appearance, it resembles an ox with wings. A lead for Sevnok unknown. Wow. Interesting. Wait. Oh, door. Uh, but yeah, welcome back. Mr. Richter. Over here. Victor, can we start? Wait, was there more stuff going on downstairs? Let me go check back downstairs before I go back up. Let me check on... I thought Uncle was up here. Uncle's over here, I guess. Oh my god. Didn't she have a brother? Bust of Marana. The stern countenance resembles that of a human, but the callous gaze shows no trace of human emotions. The Queen of Winter scrutinizes you, sending a shiver down your spine. It makes me think of the words, If you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. The game looks like Dark Sims, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that's fair. We haven't gotten back to the combat, so it's okay. Uh, three, six, 
365 dinner recipes for five zlotis. Five zlotis? Is that a, is that a currency? Zlotis? By Lucina C. Capone or pull it with sausages. OMG, it does. That's so funny. Well, now we all can't unsee it. Thank you. <laughs> Clean and pluck the capone while warm. Burn off the remaining feathers and knots over the fire. Slice off the giblets to add to the broth. Rinse salt throughout and roast in a spit while coating with butter. When finishing roasting, put a large spoonful of sausage butter inside. Sprinkle the top with breadcrumbs. Douse in liquid butter and fry in the pan. If you don't have sausages, a piece of butter with pepper will do. You can also put the sausage, sausage butter in the capone once it is in the platter. Once it is on the platter. Interesting. I can't unsee it. Yeah, I can't unsee it now either. Oh, there he is. Uncle. Hold on. Gracinha's liquor recipe. Quincy liquor with amber. Pour a pot of ripe, duly picked Quincy fruits into a four gallon demijohn and pour in a light cooled syrup with six pounds of sugar and two gallons of water. Add 10 pieces of amber, stir perfectly, add a half gallon of your best spirit, seal, and place in a moderately warm place out of the sun for 10 days, stirring several times per day, shaking the demijohn. After 10 to 12 days, when the clumps have sunk and the liquid is completely clear, pour into bottles, cork tightly, and keep in a cool, dry cellar. Oh, so sorry. I will pay for everyone's therapy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. Oh, man. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stachios. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean Quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? They're Russian? I suppose I'm They're, uh, always to I don't know. this mission. He talks about being Good from, um... A nephew like you. He's a treasure. He talks about being from, um... What's that one place? Oh, God. Why can't I remember? I'm not talking about that, man. He talks about being from... Thaumaturgic Aura. Sorry. Hold on. Let me check my... How do I... Entries. I think there's a note about him. I think it talks about where he's from. Oh, she's their nanny. Where is... Me. Shulski. Warsaw. That's where he's from. He's from Warsaw. Voronin is a Russian surname, though. It is. Warsaw, yeah. So he's from Warsaw, Poland, and um, but yeah, Voronin is it is. That's <laughs> how do you say that? And he does have the accent, Poland. I mean, I'm sure there's intermixing. He's an uncle, so you have no idea who how his relation is, right? Sorry, I had to have a sip of coffee. But man, I'm wrong. I mean, you never know. We don't know how Voronin's uh, relation is. A portrait of mother from her youth. She stands proud, wearing a white dress and a silk scarf thrown over her exposed shoulders. I don't see a scarf. Oh, that's a scarf. It blends in with the dress. Um, her long dark hair flows down her back and she glances at the viewer with a piercing smile. That is a piercing smile. It's a knowing smile. Bare skin and a frivolous hairstyle. That's not how I remembered her. Nadia is a young, unkempt maiden. It's hard to believe. The shocking vision of the painter must have been created in a previous era, a time when hearts were stirred with violent emotions. Poems were created to the sound of a storm. Love stories had to end tragically, etc., etc. Father actually commissioned a commission such a painting. Well, now I'm curious. 
Uh, Voronin. Where is he? Uncle Sasha. So mother, Nadia's brother. Nadia. Always kind of good natured. He watched us grow up. So I guess we don't know what our exact upbringing is. Yeah, we don't know exactly where our, our parentalness is. She knows what you've done. Yeah, she knows that I tried to tame a second salutor. Wait. I forgot that this is the entire thing, is that I have the search. I almost forgot. Quincy Liquor. I didn't actually get to read that. Sauvignon de Bordeaux. Bottle of white wine from southern France. An expensive beverage popping with the aristocracy. The wine carries the aroma of peaches, apples, and a certain amount of conviction that a relationship between two people is beginning to take on a romantic edge. A beverage joy by the upper crust given to a man by a woman. Is this from his mother? Anything else? One? Something here? Pinot Noir from Oregon. A bottle of red wine from the United States. Hard to get. An inability to articulate, <laughs> brought on by great surprise, cleans the bottle. It was difficult to mouth even a word of gratitude for the unique gifts. Words got stuck in the throat. Despite the adoration of this particular liquor, it is a favorite beverage, but an unwelcome gift. Ooh. <clears throat> Interesting. Voronin's bottle. Every bottle found in Shulsky's cellar contains a creditable beverage. Uncle Voronin wouldn't disregard any of them. Interesting. <clears throat> The accent caught me off guard. <laughs> what, you weren't ready for America? How did it go? Mission accomplished? I mean, he wants it, so... I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We will meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to, and raised a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, oh, man. to an easy death, as Stasio and I used to say. <laughs> How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't heard nothing, dude. I haven't even had the chance to ask. I just he got here, suffer, and I got arrested. But such images in the memory are better saved for later. I'd prefer to remember him as he was alive. What then? Am I drinking alone? Okay, so the thing is, I understand my character doesn't like his dad. His dad. To an easy death. I suppose there's no reason to bear grudges or be angry, is there? To Stasio? To an easy death. Familiar faces keep vanishing from my life. Stasio and my Helena before him. I miss my little darling. I miss them both. Oh, Sad old drunk. Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Shut At up. the funeral, there was this sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Mordechai you know him, Hayat. He worked for Stanislav, but Hayat. it was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. So, shall we collect our inheritance? I need another moment. You all have I don't to wait room. for me a moment yet. All right, but hurry up. Hurry up. All right. Yeah, well, I'll do that. Hmm? Oh, what? Liqueur is not alcohol, more of a tincture, in fact. Yes, a medicine. Since life is the most common fatal disease, well, to our health, then. Oh. Oh, okay, I like that. 
I like that. That's a good thing I like. Can I snap? The Warsaw Courier, evening extra. Here is the latest news on the riots that has disrupted His Majesty Emperor Nikolai II's speech today. A moment after our gracious emperor announced Georgi Scalon as the new governor general of Warsaw, a group of troublemakers started yelling most disgraceful slogans. Despite reinforced security, there was a scuffle. The, gendarm the gendarmerie were quick to get the situation under control, however. A few people were injured, including two policemen who came to help. Thirty people charged with public nuisance and brawling were taken into custody. Let's make sure there's nothing else here. Do some snapping. Snapping and checking. Alright. What you got for me? I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today. But you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Oh. Yet, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, and for shooting you as well. Ha. Huh. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Interesting. So he's my cousin? Yeah, that's me, Viktor Shulsky. Garden. Oh. Anything out? Hello, child. And. What are you people doing out here in the rain? Weirdos. Little freaks. Right, let's go. Alright, here we go. Anything else over here? Before I, before I do that. Just gotta do the snap check. You never know. There could be things I'm missing. What the? What's that? <laughs> oh. Stanislaw's last will. My last will. Written down in this year of our Lord, 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. <laughs> Trinity! <laughs> it is my first and irrevocable will that my daughter, Ligia Shuska, be appointed executrix of this will. Immediately following my death, let an inventory be taken and all my personal movables be sold by public auction. Let the money so collected be offered to beggars at the cemetery. Everything related to the family business I entrust into the custody of my daughter. I do not attribute the manner of administration to her. I only wish that the business be small, not risky, and honest as I had run it. That got my attention. Yeah. <laughs> to my friend Alexander Voronin. Oh, so he's not he's not my actual uncle. He's, you know, he's uncle, right? I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who had an uncle that was at zero relation to me, right? That's what he is. Uncle Voronin is just a friend of my character's dad. Which makes sense now why we are from Warsaw. Not Russian, but he is. <laughs> Clearly very Russian. I wish to leave a collection of muskets and two revolvers dating back to the uprising, to our first meeting. I also wish to aid my son Victor and entrust my grimoire to him, hoping that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will. Carry it out sacredly, even if it seems burdensome to you. Interesting. What's that? What? Huh? Why'd I have to go all the way up here and check it? Shulsky family portrait. Our family portrait. I can remember when it was taken. The year was 1884, and Ligia, Ligia and I were nine years old at the time. He was clearly tense, and I remembered how Mother had admonished her not to smile, not to fidget, and to stand straight. Ligia was to take the cue from her. Mother was able to freeze like a statue and sit there, barely breathing, for a couple of hours. 
I, on the other hand, posing nonchalantly, was always more unrestrained than my sister. I could get away with more. Behind us, our father, the head of the family. One hand resting. Why, why does everybody put the, uh, the thaumaturgic aura? Behind us, our father, the head of the family, one hand resting patronizingly on the back of the sh Chase. Chase? Lounge, asserting his ownership. The other holding a grimoire, the black grimoire. Behind father, a shadow, as if a shape were emerging and forming, indicating another presence. That's Balbareth. The family is complete. Wait, am I getting my own, my father's... Salutor? Alright, let's go. I am ready, Mr. Shulsky. I only need all of you to be present. Can we start reading your father's will? And we start, yes. <laughs> let them wait some more. <laughs> yes, let his will be done. Begin. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of his ah, imperial this is a good time majesty, for me to have coffee and, the uh, emperor eat. of so, all Russia, I will be I doing that. By testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Part of me wants to rush him because I already read it, but we'll let him... You know, this is voice acting. Let him voice act. Therefore, my first irrevocable wish is to appoint as executrix of this will my daughter, Ligia Schulska. Immediately after my death, an inventory shall be conducted in full accordance with the law. After completing the inventory, all my personal movables will be sold at public auction. And let the funds raised thereby be donated on the anniversary of my death to the beggars near the cemetery. The administration of the remainder of my fortune I leave, without restriction, to the person of my daughter, Ligia. I'm not even getting a teaspoon. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. I wish that the business should be conducted with modesty, prudence and honesty, as I have conducted it my whole life. A joker to the very end. <laughs> To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio, I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Now, I could feed my pride. I know that I get something because I read it already. Now, Mr. Fedorov, what did my father leave my mother? Hmm? Victor. <laughs> He's so snarky. Nothing. There is a special item reflecting the absolute lack of any bequest to my former spouse, Nadia Fyodorovna Voronina. Okay. I know that I'm getting something, but I'm going to feed the pride. I wish you success with your business and your hunting. I'm going to have something to eat before heading off. Just a moment yet, Mr. Shulsky. Your name is also mentioned here. <laughs> a last-minute plot twist. 
He's so I snarky. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? <laughs> I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Interesting. The Black Grimoire. The top energy point. We can spend that. Or we can hold it. Did Maybe Father we hold it. Did have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. Whoa, what, what happened? What actually happened? How did he die? I'm A back. My hair be wet? Collapsed on top <laughs> Might of need him. to dry that. I don't know any other way of it. Welcome back. It. What? A building. It collapsed on top of him. How? Oh, we, we did hear about this, right? How did this happen? It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. There was a time when, when I was doing that, basically. When he come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. But then... We rode that. Oops, sorry. Hold on, I had to check something. I saw a notification. I need to check it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You don't think I already did that? I don't know. Back Maybe together, you can try it a little more. <laughs> an entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. Wait. To see him there in that condition. It's beyond description. Hold on, I'm gonna talk about about hair hair thing real quick. Okay, really quickly before I pick another option, I'm gonna pick the ask about the missing grimoire in a second. But what I wanted to say real quickly, just because you reminded me, there's only been two times in my life that when I've gone to like a barber or or whatever, right, to get my hair cut, because I don't go too often. Um. Which is terrible for my hair, first of all, but there's only been a handful of times where I've gone and they've washed my hair um, as part of the whole thing. Once was, I think it's only been twice. Once was a friend because this was the same friend that I mentioned who was studying to be in cosmetology. Um, as part of her thing, she had to do like the whole treatment and one of the things was to wash the hair and stuff. And then another time when I went to the barber, they just had to wash my hair um, before, I don't remember what we were doing, but before working on it, I'm probably just cutting it. Um, but can I just say, having somebody wash your hair for you is like the most relaxing thing in the world. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's like the way that their little tub is set up where you just lean your head over it and dip your hair in the sink or whatever, but it's so relaxing guys if you've never had somebody wash your hair if you've got hair long enough to be washed right i've got pretty long hair i've talked about it washing is the best part and gives you a better cut yeah i mean normally i've gone like pretty quickly after having taken my own shower so it's not usually like a thing that has to happen normally they just wet it right they take the little spray bottle spray it down get it moist and then they cut it right but I just don't like how there's little hairs everywhere. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> That's fair. And then you got to go take a shower to get all the like little trimmings off. Yeah, I hate that because then I get itchy. I get itchy. But yeah, I, I love I love getting my hair washed. <laughs> if, if I could like have a, a once a year, just like I just go somewhere just to have them wash my hair, not even to get a haircut, just have them wash my hair. <laughs> Uh, it's it's just so relaxing. Anyways, I just wanted to say that because again, it's only happened. I've only had it happen like two or three times. I've only needed it, or yeah, I've only had it happen two or three times. But I think about it a lot when I go. Um, I'm like, oh, 
I remember getting my hair washed. That was nice. <laughs> the grimoire. Could someone have taken it? Perhaps in all that confusion. But why would anyone want Papa's grimoire? An ordinary person won't use it. Hmm. Would the taumaturge just happen A to be taumaturge? Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Stasio. Alright. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmishchi, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. Maybe it wasn't fate. <laughs> he died as he lived, miserably. He couldn't have met a more fitting end of what he did to me. What, what? what he did to the Nijit's family. You've got to know that Papa felt guilty. Even if he didn't say so outright. I'm not going to defend him, but I can't criticize him either. Even I don't know what really happened back then with Abauritsa. An accident is what happened, and Father treated two kids like the worst disgraces in the world. As if it had been premeditated. When a person dies so suddenly, their unfinished business remains. That's true. We'll never learn what Stasio carried in his heart. Well, I'm a taumaturge. I could. Mordecai. He is suspicious. And Mordecai Hayat. Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. She kind of reminds me of Yennefer from Witcher. Ideas? Ivan. Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All oh. sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's oh, true. God. You've got your work cut out for you. Clearly. The building's good, Lee, too. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your side, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? No, I'm also going to go through father's things, things at the moment. You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check the two. I've started stock taking there to distract myself and... I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. That's fair. As you wish. All right. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know. I kind of like the way he talks. I, I've said already I like his voice. I like the way he talks. It's I'm very like. To give my old bones a rest. I don't know. I'll see you out. Very relaxed. It all, he sounds kind of lazy, the way he talks, but, like, he's not, like, enunciating. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. So she has black hair, but I have brown hair? But we're twins? I mean, I guess... Okay. Oh. Uper. I guess, uh, you know, you can... You can end up with, uh... Different hair as you get older. There's so much. Shrail. A wooden mask representing a salutor known as Shrail. The demonic countenance is clothed in the hope that clung to it first, and the satisfaction that soon followed. It seems that Father had plans for Shirel, which he eventually managed to fulfill. Sp 
suitcase, a leather suitcase bearing traces of many travels. Grains of desert sands from Father's trip to Africa had settled in the suitcase. He would set it aside, spinning plans for future voyages into the unknown regions of the material world, searching for what was hidden behind the veil of reality. Why are you snapping your fingers like equivocation? A part bat? Yes! Bam! I see it! Books on ancient cultures. Books in hard leather bindings with many bookmarks. Father would pore over the yellowed pages again and again, reading the same words over and over, trying to extract meaning from them. He repeated the words about dedication and the necessity of sacrifice like a mantra, slamming shut one volume and searching for another. What does it all mean? I had to adjust my mic. Actually, my mic is still off. Sorry, I'm going to move it. Wait, I know what's wrong. How? <laughs> How? I, okay, so I muted so I could fix my mic, and then as I was fixing my mic, I had to sneeze. After I sneezed, I swung my hand and hit my table. <laughs> you, you guys missed a very exciting moment of me oh, injuring myself. Letter. Human heart is worth more than all the riches of the material world tonight. Stannis. No, that's not Stannis Shulsky. SR. Who's that? Now you may know about the mysterious SR. Letter just to father and signed with the initials SR. The message only appears to be brief. In fact... The pen strokes were accompanied by an accelerated heartbeat, motivated by a restrained fondness for the addressee. The ink is dripping with special care and warmth that have seeped deep into the paper. So we've seen notes about this mysterious woman already. At the grave. Listen. Nocturne in B-flat minor. Chopin. Collection of books in the occult. The titles include Pseudomonarchia Demonum, Le Mechaeton, and Picastrix. The grimoires of historical cultists brim with paternal inquisitiveness. The worn pages full of annotations at the margins bear the works of frequent reading. His heart beating with excitement, Father explored mysteries of demonology, thus expanding his horizons. Father's Search. Father's thoughts were recently occupied with a search for knowledge that bordered on the obsessive. This is related to something much more than his usual curiosity about the world, which I remember him for. He was looking for something, hunting for salutors, exploring the mysteries of everything related to thaumaturgy. The only thing I still don't know is where it led him. Interesting. All right, Upper. How do you find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check. I like how Uber is just like, mm-hmm. I don't know what you're saying, nor can I respond. Just double check, give this room a snap. What's that? Did I miss that? Hard letter, my love for you is burning. Keeps me from eating, it keeps me from sleeping, it keeps me from living. Yeah. I'm begging you to end my agony. Agree to be my well. Smash skeleton fella. I don't know about that. What the hell? Why didn't my last thing come up? Did the message not come up? Let me go look at something. Um. Oh. I don't see any other message. Well, I don't know. What did you say? 
It's possible maybe YouTube auto blocked it if it had a it could have been a word auto blocking it. What the heck? Who's calling? There wasn't even a phone on there. Hello. Wait. <laughs> Never mind. Do you hear me now, Victor? Rasputin. Victor, are you there? Rasputin. Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On I'm the other them. end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. How? Please don't say something like that. Yeah. <laughs> we we could. There's there's definitely streams where you can talk about that, but those are usually going to be the streams where I'm bringing Kem on. There, there's, I I. I've said before, I really like to keep this area kind of like PG-13 for the most part. But there's the streams where I like I bring on Chem or potentially in the future where I bring on like Denko or somebody else like that. Where I will mark the stream 18 plus and absolutely during that time you can talk about. <laughs> we had some very interesting conversations during the stream where we were uh talking with Kem about um D, D monsters so <laughs> hold hold all those comments hold those comments for uh for those streams believe me there there will be times <laughs> uh how did you get my number how did you know i have a telephone at home uh, something's interrupting you victor I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Uh, yes, yes. 7 Boboskowska Street. Uh, number 7 by cemetery. Boboskowska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. Why am I yelling into the phone? Uh, it's good to hear you. Wait, voice. did I have to in that uh, goodbye. time? I have no uh, idea. I want to end now. What do I... Like this? Wonderful device. Remarkable. Halo? Oh, and now? <laughs> I love that Rasputin's in it. Like, he's just like, I love this thing. How does it work? Tell me more, please. Are you lost? Fuck. Don't try to be a hero. And it'll be all right. Yeg. You're outnumbered. Hmm. They don't have the edge. Quantity doesn't always translate to quality. Those phones, you need Call to yell in them for some reason. I think so. Go on with a death wish. That was a very bad whistle. How many of you are there, huh? Oh, you're screwed. Hold on. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. So this could be useful because we can we can inflict suffering. Or we go with adrenaline, up our damage. Okay, we'll go with this. Okay, we hold the rest. We will do action reaction. We go bloody rejuvenation on this one. That lets us set up suffering. Brutality. Onto Agony, because Agony will use, and then after Agony, our Salutor will go. I think this is the method. All right. He is resistant until I hit him with Upper. Okay, so here's the thing Upper is good against him.
A little bloody penance. I could diversion him. Okay, I think we old wound him. BRB? Alright, sounds good. We old wound him. He's going to disrupt my focus. They're both going to disrupt my focus. And we will quick attack him with a 50% chance to interrupt. He's disabled. Punch! Did not work. Ow! I'm getting cut. Alright, well now I'm... Ah, okay. So now... We do this. Okay. We will cast Suffering on him. Then we can use Reaction. Which will let us heal. So he's suffering. That's two suffering. Can I pet that dog? Cool. Perfect. Look at that. So well executed. And we're going to howl, give him more suffering. Punch him. Suffer him. Well, he didn't die. I'm bleeding. Oh, hello. This thing is just a puppy. I like it. Okay. We are going to do this. You are going to do... So he has force. I don't have force. So I think we do this. Wait. I can't remove his focus. Oh. Oh. Hold on. I need him to be suffering. Okay. Never mind. So we're going to... Yeah, okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just hit him with Owl. And we will... Old wound this one. And then on my next turn, I'll react with the punch to heal. Okay, we need... Oh, he's got deed, so he's got to... Disable his trait. Then we quick attack. His trait's disabled. Ooh, we're kind of getting beat up, but we're fine. Our focus is about a break. That's kind of a problem. But that's okay. That's okay. 
We heal. And we're going to just have to keep howling this one. Is that a new creature? Kind of. I got him, I got him at the end of last stream. Okay. We are... We need to remove our own negative statuses. Even though it's not going to affect him, it'll remove our statuses, which is good. We are now broken. That's fine. We diversion will break him. His face through the other body. Yeah. Don't worry about it. And then we will concussion him. Hooper. Perfect. Easy. Not even close, baby. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. He's like, what? What are you even doing here? Victor? I heard a noise. Are you all right? I'm fine. How's it going, King Edor? By the way. Visitors. Burglars? Classic. What's wrong with this town? I'll call Uncle. I already dealt with it, don't worry. There's no rush. I don't think they'll try to rob anyone anytime soon. I don't think they'll try to rob anyone anytime soon. Been well? Nice. I like how they just showed up. I was out here last time and I was like, oh yeah, with people. I was like, people still? It was people. It was not the people I thought it was going to be. Use our echolocation snap. Drink hot chocolate. Do you know the secret to time travel? It requires but one sip of cocoa. All of a sudden, Li Yi is reading a book in front of the fireplace and I'm stacked building, stacking building blocks. My parents are arguing in the smoking room. It's a warm day and then everything goes to hell. Did you know that smell is one of the most highly linked to memory sen uh, senses? I have new art and show and tell. Ooh, I'll take a look later. Yeah, did you guys know that smell is one of the most closely linked senses when it comes to uh, memory? That's why if you ever smell something nostalgic and you suddenly feel like, oh, wow, I remember this thing from like 10 years ago. That's why. Master Victor, let me guess. Have you come for some hot cocoa? Something stronger. What would that be? Coffee? Would there happen to be anything stronger? Is that true? I yeah. see you're all grown up. There's still a little homemade liqueur if Judge Voronin's not polished it all off. Help yourself. That's so... It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. Ask about my father's death. And so, the great Stanislav Shulsky is dead, crashed by a building. Can't say I'd wish a death like that on anybody. I literally just and said earlier that I did. Death. Sheer cruelty. Mr. Shusky didn't deserve it. Now all we can do is think back on what a wonderful man mm, he was. I feel like my character's memory... That won't take long. <laughs> Ask about Ligia. Ligia won't open Ligia. up to me, but how is she doing? She's having a rough time, the poor dear. Her I'm heart is heavy, though she doesn't show it, but she's I'm back strong. again. I have a question. What is your question? She keeps Feel free. Ask. She and doesn't give in. And it's good she's got you to help now, Master. Only she started smoking like a chimney. Don't smoke, guys. She takes after her father. No question about it. Uh, ask Grashnia about... Stanislaus, this. So, this death, what do you make of it, Grazinka? I'll tell you confidence, Master Shulsky. Now, 
I'm a simple woman, but something about your father's death doesn't sit right with me. How do you mean, Grazenka? Don't you suspect some impure powers had a hand in it? Do you mean it could have something to do with thaumaturgy? That I don't know. Look at us jabbering while there are potatoes not peeled. Forgive me, master. Alright. Another time. I like Grishenka. her. I'll get out of your way. I have a school in the Minecraft realm and needs a name. But Ooh. I can always snatch a moment for a chit chat with you, master. Hmm. A name for a school. Uh Schools are typically named after, like, the place they're in, right? They're either named after a place or they're named after a person, okay? So, it can either be... We never named, like, the... What the hell? What's this? Oh, Ligia. Um, You could either name it, <laughs> I, I guess, after the mayor, <laughs> which would be you, uh, or you can name it after... um. We don't really have an area that we've named. Hmm. It's gonna be hard. Have you found anything yet? Oh, she is smoking. Anymore? Is there any way I can Smoking help? gloves. I had um I had a boss back when I worked at a restaurant who had uh he would always put on um nitro gloves every time he went out to smoke. It's like and he would smoke cigars. So it's like, dude, you'd come back and you're going to smell like it. Your hand, sure, your hand's not going to smell. Your hand's not going to have that, uh, that, that cling to it. But dude, smoke in the water. I'm back. Welcome back again. I mean, there's Ashine, but it's not in Ashine. Ashine. What's Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. You're in charge here now. Have you got some kind of grand scheme? Um, a grand scheme? Oh, for now, I'm just trying to keep my head well, above back, water. Welcome back, Shora. Certain customers are unconvinced that a woman can handle running a business. What's worse, a woman without powers. <laughs> a shine? A thaumaturge at my side would shut them all I off. remembered, as I said it, I was like, that doesn't sound right. What's your heritage do? Look, I'll help her. I don't know anything about running a company, but if I can, I never vape. Any I'm way, a clean man. Good. I have a question for you, Donut. Yeah. Thank what? You. What's the question? That means a lot to me. I trust the smoke doesn't bother you. I would say. Hold on. I'm like thinking about how schools are named. I mean, okay, so you could name the new area. I'm trying to think of like how you would name it. With your hair, does it go over your eye or not? How does it go? Like my, <laughs> uh, like the character's hair? It's going over the eye, 100%. If you see, okay, hold on. I can actually show you guys. Um, let me see. I don't think I have any of them available right now. I had this really great idea for the island, but I forgot it. Why do I have so many alerts? I have a lot of alerts. Sorry, I just I looked at my phone just now. Um, I am gonna have to look up all these pickers, but if you ever look. At any pick crew I do, I use. I, whenever I have a pick crew that I use for anything, you'll notice that I always pick. Um, no matter how I'm depicting the character, I will always pick one that has um, the hair going over the eye. So hold on, real quick. Sorry, I want to pull up my pick crew uh, source list that way I can cite it quickly as I pull things out. So. If you look at any picker I do where I'm like creating my character, typically, if I can, I'm always giving them hair over the eyes. So like, uh, here, here's the one that I use for the donut after dark, right? 
um, that one, right? So I use that one for Donut After Dark. You see, it's got the hair over the eyes, right? Um, uh, where did the other one go? I have the other one. Oh, this is the one that I made as the opposite to it. To like, you know, I'm gonna just replace them as they go. So that's the one that was supposed to re be representative on the link tree for the standard YouTube. Um, I've got other ones that I've used in other things, right? So even like the, these are all the same one. These are from, let's see, this is, where is it? Oh, I don't have this one, the name of this person ready. <laughs> but yeah, um, any of these Picru I use, you'll see that they always have hair covering one eye. Always, always, always. Always, always, always. Half blind by choice. Yep. Always, always, always. One eye covered. So if you ever see any pit crew that I do, I always will try to cover one eye. Always, always. That's because by choice, um, there it's just part of the design one eye always covered doesn't matter which eye preferably i try to cover my right so you know if i was looking on my left right like this one this is the one by choice i try to cover so typically you'll see them you know like this right eye covered my right <laughs> by my right Yeah, and even, even the one that I used for, like, the killer one, like, even that one partially is covered. I just, they didn't have a hair option that was fully covered. Anyways. That's, that's that. That's that. <sighs> so. Yes, eye is covered. It is the right eye, my right. So, yeah. Thank you. Back to drawing. All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, note her unusual attire. Comment on her smoking. You used to detest the smell of tobacco. You'd hold your breath going into father's study. That's true. But when I'd stay here alone with Papa and somehow over the years I got used to it. I don't know when I started copying him even. Daddy's girl. You were always closer to him. That's not true. I was just less rebellious than you, his thaumaturge son. Now, come on, what else is on your mind? <laughs> Thank yes, I understood what you meant. Not her unusual attire. The trousers are an original style. Until now, I'd only seen women in trousers in the East. First of all, they're practical. It's the 20th century. Get with the times. It's the time we started dressing comfortably. Hell yeah. Uh, I guess she's brave because I, I imagine that during this era, this was like very progressive. I don't remember exactly when. I do remember there was an era where women started wearing pants uh, partially as protest. I think if I remember right, there was an era where they were doing it as protest um, for like fashion standards. <laughs> Dang, girl, slay. Ah, the 20th century. <laughs> it's the 20th century. Come on. You've always been brave. Never afraid of anything or anybody. Like when Mother almost had a fit because you dumped my best tie in hot cocoa. Oh. I didn't care that she was angry. I wanted to get you back for not wanting to play with me. <laughs> because you were being too annoying. <laughs> you meant to say brave. By the way, Grazina still makes cocoa every evening. You can conjure up the flavor of childhood if you want. Is there anything else you want to talk about? A century that'll never be a good century. Yep. 20th century was not a uh, not not the business. <laughs> Ask about I mean there's there's some good things, some bad things, some, you know, all centuries are going to have something. 
Because humans chopping all of nature and it makes me sad, yeah. There's definitely some good things, some bad things. There was definitely a lot of, you know, the last couple centuries <laughs> have many problems. But it is what it is. We are where we are now. All we can do is go forward. That's what the woman's trace you found. From this study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Probably Svetlana Rumyantseva. Svetlana. Who is she? And what does father have to do with her? Svetlana Living in mainstream during World War One, World War Two, when women were working in factories, needed their clothes not to get stuck in the mechanics, at least in America. That sounds right. She was a customer of father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? Keep moving when forward, is town, what Mr. Robinson would say. Who's Mr. Robinson? She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Mr. Robinson from Meet the Sweet Robinsons? Is famous for her soirees <laughs> where she hosts a, a movie I never watched? As long as famous for her soirees. I know what a soiree is. It's like a party, right? Fancy party. Tell me about it. How long did you say you lived with my Oh, so I was right. It was Meet the Robinsons. I haven't Just watched a party, it. If you like. Do you know what that is? Very funny. <laughs> Very funny. We could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Alright, well then there's no point in me saying anything. Never give me a chance. <laughs> Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzhna Street that's fairly decent and quick. Guy you're playing looks like we Geppetto from Liza P. He does. In case I remember that movie. That was a fever dream. About whatever you have growing I, on your head I've, and face. I can get a haircut and shave? What? Wait, how much customization is in this game? I wasn't ready for this. I was unprepared, woefully. So I could use this, which will inflict more suffering, right? So then we add suffering to other suffering to give double suffering. Or we give suffering to another attack, that way we don't have to always use the suffering attack. I like that, and that gives us more health too. So, debilitating wound lets us add suffering to something. So if we put it on this, Right? We would double up suffering. Two, two levels of suffering per this. But is that worth it? I don't know. I think brutality. This one gives me the heal. We don't have another two point thing though. Okay, how about this? Oh, this is a stage attack. Oh, that's how this works. I was wondering why it said one and two. Oh. I see. Okay. So, we brutality this one. Bloody rejuvenation on this one. Because this makes sense. Because then we go suffer, suffer, heal. Debilitating wound here. Which would then give us another option to add suffering. I think that's the method. I think that's the method right there. No, not the beard. Sims, told ya. <laughs> Hold up. You can go to Warsaw, capital of Poland. We're from Warsaw. We're in Warsaw. Warsaw. What's this? Oh, I have all these notes. Hold on, I'm getting messages. What's happening here? I think it might be my, my friend group talking to me about Helldivers. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of notes here. The Black Grimoire, Daddy's beloved magic book. I didn't expect to inherit anything, least of all his Black Grimoire. Too bad it went missing. Honestly, was I worthy or was it a joke? Let the prodigal son go looking under the pavement while the book is at the Warsaw Charity Society. Didn't know we're in Warsaw, yeah. 
Um, we were previously somewhere else, and then we're back here in Warsaw. Warsaw, Balbareth, Balbareth. Also, Heart. Is this also Pride then? Um, you played Helldivers 2? Yes, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers 2. I played on console because I didn't like the uh, anti cheat system that they have on PC. But I have a PS5, so I just played on PS5. Oh, I hit my arm again! <laughs> Oh, I've smacked my hand like three times just in today's stream. Balbareth. Oh, well, you're going to love this lyrics. Oh, God. Balbareth, my father's first saluter. Probably not the only one. A perfect match. An ancient idol mentioned in the Book of Judges. Secretive by nature. Keeper of vegetation and master of insects that he can command in order to protect people from diseases. According to R. Scotia, Balbareth belongs to the circle of greater demons, just like the father. The flaws that attract him are, much like with Uper, those related to the heart dimension and the sensations of the heart. Pride, blasphemy, conscientiousness, but also consistency, stubbornness, and ambition. Balbareth is gone. He left with my father. Where? We do not know what happens to Salutas after a Thaumaturge's death. Perhaps they become wild again, unhindered by the pact with their master. But the flaw that used to tether them is gone, so maybe they vanish into the void, too. Interesting. Oh, God. Wait, I think I heard this one. I think? Is this one of the ones? I, there was one that I heard on... No, oh, wait, that was something else. I, I've been hearing a lot of those... Uh, Whoa! He's like a little weird gnome man! Shirail, a deceitful forest specter from Tatar legends. She leads people astray by taking various shapes. She also has a rather twisted sense of humor. Could it be that father was hunting the saluter? Saluter. Petya Voronin. My cousin Petya has changed a lot. Once was a ship in outer space, the name of the ship was the Liberty's Grace. The bug cloud came, her bow tipped down, marooned in cargo and tow. <laughs> Soon the automatons come. <laughs> My cousin Petya has changed a lot. Perhaps we all have. He's no longer the skinny kid with scraped knees. We've never been close, despite being of similar age, maybe because of our different personalities. Svetlana Rumyatsneva. I wonder if he draws these. A song called Wellerman, but in Helldivers, yeah. There's been a lot of uh, Wellerman... Adaptations? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. And the mysterious woman exchanging letters with my father was Svetlana Rumyantseva. 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 A lady in waiting in the Tsar's court, well situated. I don't think my sister's too keen on her. Mordechai Hayep. I met him at the funeral. He introduced himself to the women of the deceased. He asked me a number of... Blah, 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 blah. Ivan Konishkin. My father's funeral was started by a certain Ivan Konishkin. He mentioned he had known my father and that he knew all about him. Interesting. All right. Let's skip all those. Uh, well, I'm in covers, you mean? I guess you'd say covers, yeah. It's a lot of people covering Wellerman, but redoing the lyrics to match something else. Hair of the dog that bit me. Isn't that what they say when they're looking for a little more liquor? You got a hangover, you need the hair of the dog that bit you, which just means you drink a little more to cure the hangover with more alcohol. Dr. Campbell's safe arsenic soap. I... Removes freckles and red spots, giving a soft, matte whiteness to the complexion. It can even handle a strong tan. The secret of radiant skin. You will find it in all major drugstores and perfumeries. The main store in Warsaw, in F. Zamenhof. Uh, pharmacy, 8 Iron Gate Square. Pay attention to the brand and signature. Dr. Campbell's Safe Arsenic Soap. When I first heard it from YouTube, I was laughing my butt off so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Advertising poster. The Path New Phonograph. 
I like how all we've done this stream is run around, read things, and talk to people. I, okay, I don't know how you guys feel about this game. I really like this game, and I like running around reading things. Ironic, since I don't like reading. Not that I don't like reading, but I don't read anymore. Cognac. Um, I heard a cat. Did you hear that? Huh? Oh, that's not it. Lady Dragonfly, come and you'll experience true sensual delight in an exotic ritual. Some of the words are blurred. Uh, a courtesan. You hear that? There's a cat somewhere. Where is it? Where, where, where? Right there. Look at him. What a little man. He's he's talking to him. This is the boss, clearly. This is the this is the ringleader. These people, they all work for him. Sometimes I read, sometimes I don't, but when I'm reading something, you may gain lore knowledge. Yes, kitty, yes. Have some cognac. I feel the ratio of liquid joy to throat pinching euphoria growing with each passing moment. I like this. I like going places, taking a note, and then making a drawing. I like that. So cute. Yeah. Theater truly is an art. It truly is theater and art. Guys, take it from me, a theater kid. <laughs> snap. A snap. A snap. What's this? What? Use. Oh, what the? What? What? What was that? That was cool. Did these, were these things that existed? Was it like a 3D photo? Why don't we have these? That's so cool. As an artist, it truly is an art. I see here. Yes. Wait, I don't want to wait. Oh, I guess I'll make it daytime. Visit a barber. Go to the tailor. Oh, God. Graveyard picture. Yeah. But it, it seemed like it was kind of like 3D-ish. I wonder if if that was like a thing. I have my salary drinking again. Oh, gosh. Oh, another one. Ooh. A house. This looks like the house. If you guys have played um, Back for Blood, there's a mission where you have to defend at a house like this, at a yard, before the boat shows up, it literally looks like this. This is the the perch where you would have the uh, the mounted turret, but then you'd have stairs right here. What is this, dude? I don't know. I wish these, I hope these exist still. I wanna go to one of those. Seems really cool. Can you spare a penny? I don't know, I don't think I have money. What's this, this a barber? Taylor. The Taylor's Atelier. Atelier. I don't have money. Why are you standing rooted like that? Wait, what's that? Scribbled patterns. Incomplete tailoring designs. This is, there is staggering anger radiating from the patterns. Desperate hands tried to sketch something valid, interesting, and original to no avail. All that's left is chaos and impatience. Ooh, learning about this guy. Taylor's mannequin. This is where the tailor's ideas come to fruition. Their individual threads of focus left in the mannequin being ripped apart by customers' visits. All the ideas that aren't good enough are rejected. Nothing but more alterations. How come the Ruskies have those long time ago? I'm I'm not sure where they originate from. They're very interesting. I'd never seen those before. Imploring no, another written by the tailor's impatient customer, urging him to promptly complete the order. Otherwise, they threaten to revoke their advance and ruin the tailor's reputation. Oh, man. Coffee cups. Dirty coffee cups. In the dregs, I can still feel the stress that urges the tailor to make more coffee and drink it hastily. Coffee is better than sleep. To sleep is to waste precious time that we use for more alterations. Oh, man. That's so real. <laughs> that's so real. That's too real for me. Oh, man. Taylor struggles. Taylor has a steady hand for sewing, but his head reverberates the lack of ideas. He needs inspiration. As frustration and impatience won't breed any good ideas. The way things are going, he won't finish the job or find creative peace. Oof. All right, buddy, I'm here. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. 
What is it? There's something else here. <laughs> that seems rude. Mention his lack of inspiration. I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier. I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pad legs and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. What a practical man. That, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. So he wants to know what people want. I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. <laughs> Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulsky, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And Mr. Shulsky, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Povonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Well, that's rude. Oh, I'd like to go to my business. <laughs> that, that's, you. that's so rude. Right. Thank you, though, I guess. At least he's honest with me. Ow, my feelings. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I can't fault him for being honest. <laughs> you look like a troglodyte. <laughs> oh man how dare you call us a caveman I know Stassi Taylor I like him I like him look I like people who don't like mess around with me what the heck corsets are insane photograph shows a woman in lingerie tying her corset caption lady dragonfly Oh, dear Lord, she was in her in her corset. How scandalous! Wait, there's something here. What? Oh, searching for the courier. Come evening, take the package to the apartment at 15 Orianska Street and deliver it directly to the butler's hands and no one else's. Do not open on pain of punishment. Oh, sweet heavens, please! Oh, good Lord! The grave paper smells of fear and vigilance. The cord around the packages. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the gray paper smells of fear and vigilance. The quarter on the package was tied by skilled hands, which carried a faint pulse of stress. What if this time the package falls into the wrong hands? Ooh, more smuggling. All right. Okay, so we do need to snap regularly. Because there are things hidden. Daily Courier, classifieds. I make clothes, costumes, and gowns in keeping with the latest designs I stocked up in Paris. Polovska, 150 Marsolska Street. The Warsaw Music Society invites you to a concert at the Reduta Halls featuring Sborowska, Glasauna, Mixed Choir, Schlion, Course for Young People, Brzulski, 2 Sorawia Street. It's so hard for me. I'm, I really promise, guys, I'm trying my best to read these. If I'm mispronouncing anything, I apologize so much. I'm trying so hard. There's like parts of my brain that haven't been used in so long trying to discern the proper pronunciations for any of these. <laughs> choir, you say. Choir, you say. Mixed choir, perhaps. News. The supreme decree in the language of instruction in the kingdom's private schools is announced. Manifestations in Moravia, Moravia's Bjorno. I don't know what that is. Bro? A well-known thaumaturgist is dead. The body of Raymond Kindley was found near Tower Bridge. A mutiny broke out in the Austrian cruiser Panther. A meeting of Danish ministers at the candidacy of Prince Charles for the Norwegian throne was held in Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Copenhagen? <laughs> Additionally, visit a barber. It's very funny. Is this that building? Hello. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? Bigot's Diary. 
I now turn to a description of my rest of my family. Of the rest of my family, my nephew, Count Orkowski, lost his father at a young age. This event weighed on the rest of his life and pushed him slowly toward the abyss of moral corruption. Ever since he grew from a sweet little boy whose angelic face could do no wrong into an impudent young man, the apartment at 15 Orianska Street has turned into a tabernacle near which every Christian should turn their face away with contempt. Walls that were once the pride of our family now bear witness to hideous deeds, hosting the worst company a young man can surround himself with. Concerned neighbors have more than once brought me information that makes my hair stand on end. It is rumored that my nephew has let himself be tempted by western fads and partakes in opiates. Dear Lord, opiates. Like opium. A lot of these places are closed. Understandably so. It is nighttime. Oh, 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 oh. Geometry handbook. A worn book with tear marks all over it. It's a good thing geometry exists. It's a good thing geometry exists. An ideal that bitter words can't destroy. Although his parents are clipping his wings, he believes he'll be a great mathematician one day and find a safe haven among perfect rhombuses, soothing circles, and friendly trapezoids. Ah, thank the Lord for math. Another note. Whoa. There's a lot of these. Dear friends and companions of voyages to distant lands, it is my pleasure to invite you to a party where the scent of incense will mingle with the aroma of turmeric and cardamom, sumptuous bedding under silk canopies, and the beauty of exotic dancers await you. You will have the opportunity to taste forbidden delights during the evening. Come as usual to the gates of Sesame. To have them open before you, simply say the password, Kubla Khan. Count O. Count Olaf? Well, there we have it. Well, there we have it. Draw conclusion. Oriental-themed party at Count Orkowski's. A wealthy businessman, Count Orkowski, is holding a party in the evening with the theme of A Tale of a Thousand and One Nights in his apartment at 15 Orionska Street. The evening's attractions will include the opportunity to partake in opium, to get into the party, all you have to do is give the password Kubla Khan at the entrance. Interesting. Has that opened up a side quest for me? Wait, wait, wait. I thought I saw something. No, I lied. There's so much. This game has too much. Ooh. Wait, I know this place. I was here earlier. Another thaumaturgy point. I'm going to wait till I get my other things because I want to get these, these perks. I know the Tale of a Thousand Nights. Nice. What was that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Pick up. Ticket. Circus Sinicelli. One Ornianka Street at the corner of two Okonik. Entry ticket for the show on September at 4 p.m. 30 Copex. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. This is a terrible game for me to be streaming. I'm so sorry, guys. I, I'm so obsessed with, like, finding secrets and stuff. <laughs> I'm, like, combing every inch of this place. And I don't want to move on. But I'm going to... Thing! <laughs> It's Middle Eastern folktales. I love it. An empty tube of purple paint. The petals of the mallows tremble in the wind, just like her lips trembled during the first kiss that hot summer. Violet rippled with sunshine and her heart filled with sweetness. The memory of that moment awakens every time she colors the canvas with violet. Wow. Don't see anyone complain. That's true. That's true. You guys do sit here with me <laughs> and watch me just do this. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Uh... Where am I going? I appreciate you guys uh, indulging me in my in my constant pursuit of things. My insatiable pursuit of uh, secrets. Oh, I thought that was something else. That's a tree. Wow. I don't bother. That's fair. <laughs> uh, watch you. I'm on Minecraft right now. 
All right, that's fair. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, God. It's so hard to see that harmful pets. It's true. You guys are just listening to me. You have me in the background while you do other things. You know what? I love that for us. I love that dynamic that we all have. I, I love being able to be somebody's background noise. I think that's like the biggest honor there is. Uh, plus, this is what I also do when I'm searching for something in games like these. Yeah. Not to my sermon. It's not hard to see that harmful fads and entertainment from the West is spread among our youth. Harmful fads and entertainment from the West. The West is corrupting our youth with their trousers. <laughs> I'm farming an FS22. What's FS22? Why do I not? Why did that? I'm going through like every farming simulator 22. White noise, but it's donut noise. Yeah. Farm sim. I was right. I figured it out eventually. And here we go. And right under our noses, too. I'm talking here, for one, about the infamous teacher who is giving lessons on how to twitch in frenzied fits. What? And he had the gall to accept money for it. Fortunately, owing to a few vigilant parishioners and my own intervention, this shameful demoralization will soon cease. What? Twitch and frenzied fits. Dance? Is this about dancing? What does that mean? I have no idea. That's so... Lesson in trendy dance. It's a quest? Learn more about the new dances? I was right. I knew it was dance. I wonder if this gentleman could give me a few lessons. I've seen the new dances in Paris. They look very different from the waltz in Mazurka that Ligia and I learned as children. Oh, these are timed quests. What? Oh no, guys. <laughs> there are timed quests? Talk about the note. That's why I said, and here we go. Yep, here we go. Look at them. All these people and their dancing. Making small farm plots in a mass forest. Kind of like what I have here, IRL. Oh, nice. All right, let's admire the view. Oh. That oh well, I'll take it. That gave me experience. But just really quickly, I feel like that note wasn't there before. I thought I went through this whole place, but then again, I don't remember if I snapped my whole way through here. So just make sure. Wait, hold on. There's someone here. There wasn't somebody there before. Timed quests. Oh, 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 oh. Lily petals. Wither my petals. The last lilies from the garden. Picked the intention of bringing her joy. Fell on the cobblestone when he saw her walking arm in arm with another man. The symbol of purity has been tainted with black ink. May she regret her decision. Dang. Heartbroken. Hey, Valush. Look what they cut dragged in. Walush. Ah, that's God a big damn. dude. God damn. I bet he'll call the Undertaker. That's a big That's guy. Too bad. Look, <laughs> I am the Lord the of Pride. The will be surprised to see all this looting. Fuck! I knew Thursday would be no good. Don't be a sissy. It'll be all over soon. I'll take the coat. I'll take the cloth hoppers. Cloth hoppers? What are that? My shoes? Whoa. Should I level up something? Ooh, a free interrupt if they're suffering? Wait, hold on. That's crazy. We're taking that one. That's actually insane. That's wild. Hold on. He's a free interrupt if they're suffering. Ooh. Put it on this one? What is this? This one inflicts suffering, though. Oh, dang it. But a free interrupt is crazy. Claude Hopper's R shoes? Okay, good to know. I think we just go with the quick attacks or my interrupts. So I interrupt, and then I interrupt again. Yeah. Oh, they had a lot of defenses. 
much. I don't have enough heart. I actually can't do this one. What does this do? Makes you immune to gaining negative statuses. Oh, I really need to level up my stats. Okay, Bukovac. This one. Suffer him. Which one? That's a lot of focus remove. Okay, I'm gonna take my 50-50 on interrupting him. I'm gonna need to suffer that guy. His trait's disabled. Okay, he's interrupted. Now I'm going to interrupt him. This guy is resistant. So what we're going to do is we're going to suffer him. We're going to take that hit. That's fine. We bleed a little bit, but that's okay. And this guy's resistant. So what we're going to do... Old wound. I think we're going to go for removing this guy's focus. So he suffers. We remove that one's focus. We take a chance at interrupting the two. Okay, we suffer him. That's a lot of healing. I feel like I'm wasting all that healing. Go for the interrupt. Going to... And suffer him and somebody else. Did not interrupt. That's fine. We're fine. Ow! Oof. Lots of damage. That's fine. He's gonna drop. We don't gotta worry about him. So we're gonna old wound this one. Because he's got... Oh, he can't gain statuses. Yeah, that's fine. Diversion him. And we're going to just remove his focus. That's just going to be the move here. The other guy will bleed out. <laughs> Shovel on your face is hurtful. Plus it's made of metal. Yep. Remove. Move. He's gonna hit us again, but that's fine. By the end of this, we could have just beat him up, but you know. Ow. Go for an interrupt. Remove his thing. Easy. Yeah. And then we just hit him really hard. Easy. Easy money. You guys just saw that happen and just ignored it? Didn't even come to help me. Wow. 
What if there's somebody inside my father's uh, tomb grave area again? Let's go check real quick before we go to the barber. It is, it is getting roughly time to wrap up, but let me first just double check. Nothing changed. Okay, just making sure, just making sure. You never know. Somebody could have shown up and just like thrown something in there and been like, ah, 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 they'll never think to look in here. Ah, ah. Ba, 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 ba. All Souls Day. All right. Uh, barber. Lead me to the barber. Wait, wrapping up. Gotta get soon. Soon. Not yet. Not yet, but soon. Within, like, the next... Uh oh, hold on. There's something here? Where? Where? Ah. Like, in the next probably 30 to 40 minutes, I need to wrap up. What we might do... I might go into character creator for the end of it for, uh for Dragon's Dogma and chat while I do character creator. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's at all interesting to you guys, but I wanted to do character creator, but I have something I gotta do later. And I would like to, dang it, <laughs> I didn't read the note. And I wanna go into the character creator to make my character for when we do Dragon's Dogma. I'm not done with the drawing. I'll be, my computer will be on. You're still welcome to send it to me. You've got my Steam now. Mr. Solkolnika. Mrs. Solkolnika. They've included an extensive article about Angora rabbits in issues 22 and 23 titled The Wool of Angora Rabbits. There you will find hints on raising these animals, seeing as you are a resident of Poznan Duchy, you will likely find it easier to import rabbits from Germany. Information on whom to purchase them from will be provided to you by the editor of the magazine, Der Kanin's... Der Kanin'schen Suk der? Suk der? Suk der? I don't know. I give up on that one. Don't know, my guy. You know, we're all suckers for a good character creator. It's true, but still. <laughs> Dr. F. Pope Leipzig, Kaiser Wilhelm Strauss, uh, 22. Mrs. H. W. The graying of the hair may be a consequence of some hidden disease of the body. I recommend that you consult with the specialist. His advice in this matter cannot be given by letter. Uh, I think gray hair might just be if you're getting older. <laughs> the trendy dances, the two-step, the cakewalk, the cakewalk, the Boston waltz, which are gaining popularity among our upper class, are taught in the evenings by Jan Wisoki, a well-known Warsaw ballet mas master. Unfortunately, as of November, he will no longer be offering the service, so if you wish to schedule a lesson, we recommend that you do not delay and contact him properly. Oh, interesting. What's a good watch to a dead man? That's true. Oh. Hello, sweet secret. Sweet secrets. I love this game. I like listening to the character talk. Is this how people feel when they listen to me? <laughs> that's so that's so narcissistic to say. That was probably the most narcissistic thing I've ever said in my life. The case all out of a carriage window. Well, maybe she shouldn't have fixed her makeup while she was drunk. Passionate words have settled in the lid, pleading for her to go with him. Promises that she would be famous as a dancer in the new world, that everyone would envy her. Ooh. Off-white. People's envy is boundless, so why should anyone care about it? The fleur de lis pattern is a bold move. The chacard vest will dazzle everyone, and the ruby red will be the talk of the town. The old fashion doesn't know the virtue of modesty. Let them be envious. Indeed, it is narcissistic. I'm also thinking of the script. I'm getting a blank mind. No, that's completely fine. Sometimes it doesn't come to, like, you know, you can't force force creativity. Some people can. I can't, personally. If I'm not feeling it, I cannot. You can't get me to edit something or write something or record something if I'm not feeling it. My brain just won't let me. Kazmierz Prusinski is a name likely to be heard many more times, not only in Warsaw, but across the world. His inventions mainly concern live photography and war machines. Two of his works are particularly important, are of particular importance for the development of cinema. The removal of light flickers and the projection of images. And two, the invention of the handheld filming technique that doesn't require a tripod. The aforementioned removal of light flickers represents a breakthrough in cinematography after years of stagnation caused by the futility of efforts taken to address this issue. Whoa. Warsaw. We are gaining so many levels. But the problem is... 
I need two points in pride. I need to get my heart up, and I need to get these stats. I'm just... Bleh. Yeah, that's fair. All right. This is the barber. There you go. The chair's ready. Your haircut's this late? Chic and elegance. That's what I trade in. All right. Let's see what you got. Come in. Fancy hairdresser. Ask for a haircut. Please set my hair to rights. Ah, my yes, shoulder sir. popped. Oh. He looks like Arthur Morgan. Grave digger's dream. Are these starred ones? Does that mean these are haircuts you can only get from this barber? This is what I have. I have the globe trotter, a neatly trimmed beard and mustache, out of tone. Wait, is that what I have? Yeah, that's what I have. I remember the name for the Sky Island, finally. Nice! This reminds me of Arthur Morgan. <laughs> no. No. Why does this look... He makes him look so angry. I like the beard. I like this. Skyland! Skyland is how you say it. Skyland. I gotta go, but I will send you the drawing when I can. Sounds good. No problem. Yeah, my computer will be up, so I'll I'll definitely see it. Don't worry. <laughs> I just uh it just depends on when. Uh I do have oh wait a minute, I just remembered. My friend wanted to drop something off to me. Let me make sure that he didn't message me to ask about that. Ah, no, he didn't. Not yet. Cool. Perfect. Okay. I kind of like this hair with him. I don't like the fancy comb over. I don't like that so tight to the head. Proper war soul, lad. I do like this one, too. This reminds me of Arthur Morgan. <laughs> I like his unkempt hair, though. He looks like a troubled poet. And like he's going to tell me something and I'm going to be very upset by it but I'm going to be grateful that he said it. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I like this one. But I don't like I don't like him with any of the shaves. They upset me. Like, this looks very angry. Maybe it's the hair. This looks also like a troubled poet. But this one looks like an evil troubled poet. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't bad. But I like him with the beard. It, whoa, they dye his beard. If you get a cut, look, you can see, see how it's like brownish, right? It's brownish with this gray, this slight graying here. But then if you get a cut, it's all darkened. They dye his hair. Whoa, wild. I kind of like this one. This one kind of has like the slightly less unkempt Troubled Poet. I do like this one because it reminds me of Arthur Morgan. I think I'll go with this one. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Why don't I you talk? can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepare them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you uh. style the deceased too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. So, what do you think? Do you like it? Oh. Yeah. Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. I mean, they're dead. <laughs> Interesting. All right, well, we got a haircut. I didn't need it, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do it. I wonder if that means there's going to be other... Like... 
barbers that give me different haircuts. Dancing Handbook, Leopold Dipo, Doli, P. Dolinsky, Modern Dances. All right. Secrets. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. I love listening to him. What? Where'd my conclusion go? I made a conclusion. Where'd it go? What? All right. Okay. I'm just going to double check this area real quick. And then what we'll do... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I knew there was something. I felt it in my bones. The Technicians Association in Warsaw invites you to attend a series of lectures developed by top Polish inventors, technicians, and people of science. Held every Thursday at 7 p.m. at the association headquarters at 59 Polskowska Street. Admission 20 kopecks. What the heck was this? You know what? No, no, no. I, if I if I touch this, I'm gonna end up distracted by things. So I'm gonna save. We got a haircut. Oh, perfect! If it's exactly, we got a haircut. All right. Uh, let me move to chatting. And then let me see if I can get Dragon's Dogma's character creator open. And then we'll chat for like 30 minutes while I do character creation and then I gotta go do stuff. Ugh. Gotta stretch. Grab a controller and kick back. This game is a controller for best experience. Thanks, Steam, for telling me to get a controller. I've never seen this. It says, grab a controller and kick back. This game needs a controller for best experience. So grab an Xbox controller, a DualSense controller, or really, any kind of controller looking device that can connect to your PC. Thanks. That's how they say, that's how they say third party knockoffs without saying third party knockoffs. I'm farming discs right now, nice. Hold on, where'd my game go? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's struggling. Ooh, it's struggling. Uh-oh. Hello? <laughs> okay, I think it's fine. Why is it in a tiny, tiny window? You guys hear that? Hold on, I gotta... Uh... Oh god. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm trying to get to the part where I can select the resolution. It looks it's running at 160 FPS. It's literally cabbing out my FPS right now. Sorry, it's kind of loud. Hold on. Headphones. Okay. Uh do I have... Whoops! Where'd you go? Oh, God. Oh, no. Guys, everything's everything's wrong. <laughs> I may have broke it, guys. Hold on. Everything's wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh no. All right. Well, hold on. Uh, it's because I'm running it at 165 FPS. I should have. I made a mistake. I should have capped the FPS before I adjusted the settings. So I upped every. So things changed, and then the settings changed, and it like crashed everything. 
because it was all the the usages were way too high. Hold on, let me try this again. Okay. Why is my okay? So I want it capped at one sixty five. Wait, no. My monitor does refresh that. I want it to max out at 60 FPS. Do not be sync. Why is my GPU usage so high? Okay, borderless window. 1440. Now, let me add this to the room. Sorry, I had to get this set up before I did anything else to make sure that it's going to work. Dragon's Dogma Character Creator. I misspelled that, but whatever. This one? Okay, let me switch over to the game. Alright, where's my, where's my... Switch. Don't mind that my, my GPU usage is incredibly high. Why is it still at 144 FPS? Okay, what if I tell it 120? Will that fix it? Save? It's... Okay, there we go. Now it's capping the FPS. Not the right monitor? Yeah, it is. Dude, this is eating my GPU. It doesn't even have any other settings yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Thank you. Okay, that's what my monitor's actual refresh is. I like how I have to change all these settings just for the character creator. Why is it eating up so much of my GPU, though? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so... We're not playing a game. We are literally just going to do character creator. This is so you can create your character so that when Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out, you can import your character over to Dragon's Dogma 2. So we're going to make you, for anybody who doesn't know about Dragon's Dogma, you have two characters. You have your Arisen, which is the character you play. You control the Arisen. And then you have your Pawn, which is the 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 single unit that follows you throughout the entire game. There's a lion man. Is that a Khajiit? Khajiit has wares if you have coin. What if the people are now making the NPCs in the game? It's possible. There's apparently going to be a couple of um, actual, like, official pawns. Because the way the game works, right, it has online but not in the way you think it has online. I just got nine discs in one night. Nice. Oh God, I have hiccups. So here's the thing, right? Dragon's Dogma has online, but it doesn't have co-op. The way it works is let's say I have my pawn, right? So I'm going to make my character I play is going to be the female character I always make, right? And I'm going to make a main pawn that's going to be probably my, me, right? Donut. The way it works, let's say you're playing online. You, while you cannot play with me, can summon my pawn to help you as an assistant to you. Because you can have a full party of four, which is you, your pawn, and then two other pawns, right? The way, if this works the way the original did, I'm hoping they've, this is exactly the case where AI learning, where AI could be incredibly useful here in making this game exactly what they wanted. Because in the original game, the way it was pitched is that your pawn learns from you. However you play the game, your pawn will learn to play like you do. That was how the first game was pitched. So let's say you like to jump on top of the monster and do mounted attacks a lot right? Your pawn learns to also jump on the monster and fight with mounted attacks. So then when somebody summons it, it will fight similar to you do. 
So it'd be like having you there. Check your DMs. What are you DMing me? No! <laughs> Would you guys like to see what Jira just sent me? Jira, I'm going to send them. I'm going to show what you just sent me. I'm showing what you just sent me. You sent me something. I am showing it to everyone now. <laughs> you, Zero made me see this. <laughs> so now you all have to see this. Oh. This. This is what Zero sent me. This is made with uh, the, the character creator. Do you see this luscious man? Do you see handsome Squidward? The way he stares into your soul? <laughs> Why would you do this? Why did you make handsome Squidward? Needs more Squidward. Make him blue. Alright. Oh god. What? Yeah, but yeah. So... I don't know why? I don't know. That's pretty sick, though. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of people's characters. The character creator is really good. All right. So first, we're going to make my usual character that I would normally make. Choose a preset. Let's take a look at the presets. Can we join call, please? <laughs> I guess so. While I make this character, I suppose so. All right. Hold on, guys. Jira is going to join the call. Hello? Hey. <laughs> Are you making SpongeBob and Squidward as your characters? With a lion? I mean, I guess I, I saw that, but. I, so I'm streaming right now because I don't. I, I want to record it, but I didn't have enough space, so I'm streaming right now. Oh, <laughs> trying to... I see. <laughs> yes, so I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to make. To make. Uh -huh. I have to show Cam real quick. Why is my game so dark? Did I show my darkness wrong? Wait, lighting. My my lighting's all messed up. Hold on, I gotta change my lighting. It's it's my favorite. I love this so much. <laughs> Hold on, I also have to. Wait, can you talk really quick? Yeah, hello, I'm talking. There are words coming out of my mouth. Oh, I am saying can't. things. Why is there two Jiras? That is a very good question. Why are there two Jiras? Why are there two me's? You this know, the more the merrier, uh, I guess, right? That one? No, not that one. That one? There you go. Gone. Obliterated. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I had to show somebody that there was uh, Pajit. And I have to change my settings. Because for some reason, my game is... The face was too dark. I don't think it's supposed to be that dark. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, now that I have my settings changed, this is different. Just barely visible. That's... I'm sending this to oh. everyone. Okay, skin color. That's barely visible to me. <gasps> ew, ew, there's teeth. Oh my god, hold on. I don't like when he opens his mouth. It just so the picture in the center disappears. It disappears here, but that feels like it's so dark. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like really dark? Oh my god, this is so cursed. <laughs> it's mm. so cursed. Okay, maybe it's like this. That's just barely <laughs> visible. I can still see it. It's still so dark. Actually, it's not working. Uh, you want me to send you another cursed image? <laughs> I'm about to. Mm. Here you go. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. I hope that works. Second year of murdered by donut. Yeah, obliterated. Removed from Please. existence. What do you mean? You deleted me? I had to delete the second Jira. It had to be done. Wait, why were there two of me? Like two voices or two? Two of you. They had to be what? removed. This is the what first Arisen. Mean? In the first game, this was the default character. This one right here. What did you send me? 
<laughs> you could get rid of the teeth? Oh my god. What? You're <laughs> gonna remove his teeth? No, I'm keeping all of them. Hands of Sword needs all of them. <gasps> okay, hold on. I could change lip colors. Ooh. Lip color. All right, none of these look like what I want, so I'm just going to go with Create Now. That's a pale man. Once finalized, the reasons the race cannot be changed. Choose a race, body type, and base head to determine the character's basic appearance. Why can't I see the colors? Hello? So you have regular, and then you have beast. I already know. I, I sent this to Kem because I know Kem is going to love this, uh, but I sent Kem the cat people. Base body. I want tall body. Big lady. Adjust the face to suit your liking by making the selections over three stages. You'll then be able to use the head you have chosen as a base for further customization. Ah. Let's go with this one. Wait, hold on. There's more. I don't understand the look colors because it's not even showing. I like this one. These are really detailed. These faces are super detailed. <laughs> they sure are. Oh. <laughs> Get off my lawn. This looks like the lady from um what was that movie? It too. The 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 Ew, no. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know. But I guess we are. This looks like we are. Wait, hold on. This looks like somebody. This looks like uh, Rebecca Black. Is that her name? It's Friday. 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 Did yeah. I circle back? I don't know. Friday. Okay, I think I like this one as a base. Party and party and yeah. This is also a good base. No, uh, but I kind of like this one too. All right, we'll go with this one as the first base. Oh, and then it expand those? Whoa, that's wild. This is such a good character creator. <laughs> like, you basically go, okay, I like... Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I like I just, I, this, yes. right? And then it expands with slight permutations to, like, face and nose structure. Weird. Crazy, even. Buck wild, maybe. Party and party and yeah. Until it gets what you want. So why I went can't like that, I right? have why can't the eye colors be the skin colors? Hello? Oh yes. That's so good. This is so good for people who want to do character creation but don't really know what they want. So I literally go here, I go, I okay, I like Scar. And then it gives me these branches out for slightly different facial structures. Oh, that's so smart. He's going to have a long life. Oh, density. Perfect. Oh, my God. Make him dense. <laughs> Thick. This one's very feline. Okay. This is not like feline. Eyeliner. eyeliner. Mm, not like that. Yes. Okay. You can go taller? Big lady. Biggest lady. Oh. Whoop. No sh no sh Muscle type? Oh. He has no freckles, excuse you. He's perfect. He doesn't need freckles. Oh god. Dense Chicks? musculature. Chicks. Chicks. This is very, like, very good muscle definition setups. Because, <laughs> like, these are very realistic, like, types of muscle, de muscle? muscle definition, where uh -huh. it's, like, it's very slight, but you can tell that, like, there's muscle underneath. 
I think I like nine. Muscle strength. Oh, and then you can tone it more. Wait, chest hair? Chest hair. Hold on. Can I do the chest trap hair? size? Trapezius? Oh, that's a chest thick hair. neck. You don't need to be that thick, though. Upper body muscle mass. Yuck. Big lady. Yuck. I'm so Handsome squirt or can be handsome squirt. Everything. I can't make him blue. You can't make him blue? Yeah. Lower body size. Wide. Oh! Dump. There's a dumpy setting. Oh, I need that setting. What, what setting is that? <laughs> it's lower body size and character creator. I was like, oh, okay. thick legs. Whoa, wait. <gasps> you have a weight. Oh, that's right. Based on your character's size, you actually have a weight, and that affects other characters' ability to pick you up. Fine. Um, he has, he, he got tiny waist. 79. Rear size. Oh, he got booty. Giving, giving him booty. Oh, he got a booty. Yeah, yeah, we're giving him a booty. I like this. I'm Hello. really into this character Hello. creator. Hello. Remember, guys, if you guys want to character create, you can do that for free. It's just in the game. You just go onto Steam right now. How do I delete? How do I zoom? There we go. How do I delete this person? Someone joined my chat and I don't. <laughs> Slash. You just right click them. Or not right click them. You left click their name. You guys might hear Jira for a second. I got it. You just left click their name, and then you click the ban button. It looks like a little, like, no good symbol underneath follow whisper. I have a ban. Thank you. Boom. Bye, Evelyn. If that's your real name, IG Fijin Herfe. Over on Jira's sign. Alright, anyways. Um head width. Round head. Kind of a roundish head. Head depth? That front to back? Yeah it is. Bam. Okay. Go to here. Face height. What is that? 30? Long face, big forehead, five head even. Neck length, I'm at 29. Whoop! Whoop. Arm muscle. Ah, here it is. Oh, that's okay. length. Kind know. of a short neck. Short neck. I have a a little this. thicker I just neck. Need, yeah, I need thickness. Oh. Yuck. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Upper body, shoulder width. Get a little wider. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We gotta look at the overall proportions Chest here. Size. Shoulder size. Oh, you know what? Okay. Bring that down. Bring that down just a little bit. Oh, man. Thick chest. That's muscles. This really, they really just added in the the chest setting. All right, chest shape. What? What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. This don't look like squitter. Makes me sad. Hmm. A snatched waist. That's what they say, right? No, not a snatched waist. Like there. Arm length, arm size, thick arm. Cool. I feel like 
Hold on. I think it might be... Oh, getting closer to what... Be oh, he's... I forgot I made him super shiny. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're getting heavy. 127. I don't think that's pounds. Maybe it is pounds. There's no way that's pounds. I'm 119. I'm 127. How am I 119? I had so much muscle. Hello? <laughs> uh, excuse me? I have muscles? Where? It says waist width. Waist size. Oh, it's belly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Rear size? Oh my god. Literally the cheeks button. Glutes. You gotta have a little bit of glutes. We need it. Leg size overall. What does that mean? It's thinner legs? No. Leave that here. A neat angle. Bring the thighs in just a little bit. Calves in just a little bit. Actually. There you go. This is this is where you would be for <laughs> lifting. This is like a lifting build right here. Posture. Posture. Yep, I was doing, I'm on the posture right now. Yeah. A rapid pace right. step. Look at that. That's very relaxed. No. This this is determination. Oh my hands are super tiny. Walks with stride. Yes. Elbow angle. What does that mean? Oh, it's out. How out are they? Knee angle? Oh god, bow-legged walking. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little bow-legged. There's a lot of wasted movement in that, in this walk cycle. Oh, whoa, that's wild. What? That redo setting, it lets you go back steps. Crazy posture. <laughs> I see my prey, I am coming for it. Versus straight back spine. In fact, overly straightened. I want a slight lean forward, just like a slight lean forward. Not a hunch, necessarily, just a lean forward. There we go. Oh, Lord, she coming. All right, and then head. What if I just put, like, one... Let me see. Skin sheen? How shiny? Oh, God, that's moist. Yeah, um... Did you make Squidward, <laughs> Squidward moist? Yeah, he, he's a moist man. <laughs> I mean, he comes from the ocean. That makes sense, right? Should I give him hair? Because they're like, I can't make him blue. Can I, I change your hair color? I kind of like these eyebrows already. <laughs> I have no eyebrows. <laughs> hmm. Left eye closed. Oh, you can have a scar, like, as if you're, you know, you're blinded? Oh. Lazy eye, or, you know, half-lidden. Hold on, I actually like that. Let's go to 70, 70 on both. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That. Is a stair. Hold on. Maybe 75. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. A setting I never knew I needed. Oh my god. Hold on. And eight? there's no blue hair. Oh. It's making me so upset. No. 75. 75 is the right number. 75 is the magic number. Eye angle. We're at zero right now. Slight tilt. Eye size. Tiny eye. Big eye. No. I think I was actually really good at this negative 10. I This is a really good character creator, guys. 
You know, there's definitely more robust character creators out there, but this, the future is now. I kind of like this nose. Ears? The ears could be bigger. The ears are not very big. What? Ear type? What does that mean? Oh, you oh, remind what? me. Elven ears? Hold on. Screenshot. <laughs> There's elf ears? <laughs> what are you doing to your thing? Hmm. You want to see? <laughs> I don't know if I do. You're going to see anyway. Oh. Oh, he's so handsome. Mm. He's so handsome. Oh. He's absolutely a handsome boy. Oh. I just pulled up your stream. What are you doing? <laughs> he's handsome. What do you mean? What am I doing? I'm making a handsome boy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if I make a star again? <laughs> oh. Definitely could. Oh my god, you I'm can make- I'm definitely there. I'm definitely there. I... Okay, I might well, where's your use styles? the elven ears, honestly. <laughs> I don't like this. Do I want- Which I one know. is this hairstyle? Slightly bigger ears. <laughs> cool. Oh, come on, please. Which... Openness? What is that? Is, that... is this like the closest to his hairstyle? No. Ugh. Fun? No. There we go. I like that. Okay. Is this the... Oh, this is the elf... The elf... The elfometer. Okay, this is close to... Okay, let's make his hair white. <laughs> this is so crazy, dude. Uh, more white. Okay, and let's go back to skin color. Slightly thicker cheeks. <laughs> I want more jaw. Hold on, where's jaw? Oh, I have to tell you a lot about jaws. <laughs> let's go stronger jaw. <laughs> Stronger jaw. <laughs> jaw protrusion. Here you go, here you go. Connected. <laughs> what have you sent me? What have you done? It's a starian. What are you doing? Mm! That's not a starian! <laughs> <laughs> uh, please, guys, if you would like to, please go check out Shira. That's a two-a shout out, Shira. Let me Twitch. Let me know. Does this work? Does this work? Boom. Does that work on my side? Oh my god! Did a shout out go to Shira? Uh, Did that work? I don't even know. Okay, this one. This is a skin tone. I, this is a story. I, I can't be sure it works on my side when I do it like this. Did it, did it work? <laughs> I have no idea. Isn't there a way to check, like, what I've done? My chat. No. <laughs> I don't know if that actually worked or not. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hmm. Didn't, at some point, Squidge would have, like, a wig or something? I don't remember. Wig. Chin height. Is that 10? Like there. 29. Ooh, 30. Yep. Yeah. Chin width. Slightly wider. Oh, I was thinking about it's Squillium. Never mind. Squillium fancy, son. Still working the register. Squiddy. Uh-huh. 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 Sharpness. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't... I can't tell what this setting is doing. Uh, I gotta... I gotta send this. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that. Oh. The jaw. Uh, what, what? <laughs> what jaw? <laughs> Maybe that's okay. why my chin was not chinning. 
right there. Oh my god. All right, hairstyle. Oh, my computer's going super slow right now. Ooh. It is going extremely slow right now. I've got a thing for curly hair like this. Let me close this. I really like this. This that. hair right there. Okay. Oh. My game is like... The stream is like not... not not streaming right now. Stream's not streaming. Oh my god, it's the it's Ichiban's hair from uh from uh uh the 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 Yakuza uh like a dragon. That's the one. Or and this is the hair of uh Fugen from Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh, the shaved side, kind of like that. <laughs> Man, that's like the best I can do. I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. Wait, right here, this hairstyle. This hairstyle. <laughs> this hairstyle. <laughs> I really like this this hair right here. Root color. I'm so sad. My stream is breaking. <laughs> They're a pink. How close can I get to a pink? I would like Wait. to have. Oh my god, my opera's not even closing. Right, so here. There we go. So 26. Oh, wait, 57. That's not pink. That's like a white. Okay. I think 48 might be as close as I can get to like a pink. Sheen. Glossy hair. That is some oily hair. Yeah, you know what? She's got some oily hair. I already know. Sheen position. I, I, love, I love these. I love this face so much. Yeah, there we go. Root tip blend, 50-50. Oh, this is if I had a different color. So if I put this white, right, to kind of like soften the color, and then I change the blend. Maybe I can make the, the eyes blue. If I, can't, if I can't make... I think that's it. Blue skin. Maybe I just make the eyes blue, you know? Mm-hmm. What was this color? 48? 48. Oh! Mostly. It needs to be a little darker. Eyebrows are tend to be a little darker, I think. That and a... Kind of just looks like eyeshadow. Okay. That little, like slight smile, that smirky smile. I feel like I'm telling you guys way too much about myself right now. I haven't had a character creator this robust in a while. This I wouldn't even say this is like super robust either. Ooh. That's a sharp eye. Number three. I like that. I think three. Oh, perfect. Oh, my God. Wait, I changed the ears. Yo, there's out. so many colors. But there isn't a pink. There is a red, though. Changed. What the? Okay, hold on. I'm curious. Eyebrows, no. I like. Where do you change the ear type? Uh, it was in ear. <laughs> Uh huh. Oh, style here. To... Okay, I don't want it. To... 
much. Uh. Iris tertiary color? Oh. Sclera color. I'm a sucker. Oh my god, that's a huge eye. I'm a sucker for black, black sclera. Single black Yep. Quasi. Yep. <laughs> Why he more his lips? <laughs> Maybe okay. I just go with the yellow. Maybe I just make them like a because I feel like yellow. I feel like this isn't standing out enough. But if mm. I do like the yellow, I feel like yellow will stand out. Oh yeah, that stands out. Oh yeah. Okay, this is handsome. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it handsome? This is handsome. This is Squidward. <laughs> this is like getting closer to um Shout out Jira Lumia. Thank you. Check out Jira Lumia. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hi. <laughs> what do you mean? Long lashes. Okay, anyways, what are you saying? This is getting closer to what? It's getting closer to the character from One Punch Man. What? One... Mis Mr. Man? Is that what, what he's called? No, I don't know what his name is. Saitama? Saitama's the main character. This is not the main character. There's... There's... I need to look it up. Hold on. I'm trying to find all the characters. It's like a snake size. I'm telling on my... I heard One Punch Man! Lucas immediately popping out of the ether. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. Okay. Okay, Lucas. About... I need I need your help. I need your help. There's, there's a character, One Punch Man, who has, like, super buff. They're super buff. But they have, like, cute... Um, I don't know. They have, like, a thing for, for guys. I think I don't remember, but they have a um, a jail suit on, and they're very flamboyant, kind of. Does anybody have? I any don't remember idea his name. What she's talking I don't about. remember his name. Lucas, Pudi, please help Pudi me. prisoner. Is that his name? I don't know. Yes, That's what Lucas Pudi. said. Yes. Oh my God! Thank you. It's very close to. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. That's who I made. No, that's who I made. Mm. Oh man. Okay, I guess uh, that's it. I, I guess, guess that's, that's who, who I made. made. You're welcome, says Lucas. Look at that. Lucas shows up from Thank the ether you, and immediately is like, I know exactly what you need. What you're talking about. Where's the curly hair? Where is the curly hair? Is it this one? Is he this one or is he this one? No. All right. This went from making is me. This one? But female to I don't have freckles <laughs> I made oh. Lucas that's who I made thank you for telling me now this is my new inspiration <laughs> I couldn't make handsome squidward so I therefore made pretty pretty prisoner <laughs> mm. Oh my god, yes, that is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, okay, now I have to I have to go back to like um I've facial hair. Giving you guys all what? No teeth. What in the world? That's so disturbing. But oh, that's man, such no, a like... good setting though. Because then you can be like, oh, I lost my teeth in a fight. Oof. 
that's... There's no, like, after... What's it called again? It's not aftershave, but, like, 5 o'clock shadow? Yeah. Because that that's exactly what Pretty Pretty Prisoner has, and I can't get it because they don't have it. Tattoo. Oh, maybe it's a tattoo. Oh. Is there a face tattoo? <laughs> that I can... <laughs> Uh-huh. Are you what? looking at my knights? <laughs> what? Yes. Hold on. Let me send you... Are you... looking at my knights? Wait, you sent it to me? Yeah, I sent it to you on Discord. <laughs> I like this one. I like the Oh leaves. my god. <laughs> I like number five. Okay. I have to go back to skin color now. Because this is not his skin color. Oh my it's god. Darker. I have a demon sealed inside me. I will say, okay. I am a sucker for that. I have to go back to muscles. <laughs> muscles. Yep. Oh, I've always been a sucker for this face paint specifically. Oh no. Oh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, actually the white. Oh no, guys. Oh no. What am I going to do? I'm going to get called out. People are going to be like, "So this is what don't Cerberus Uh -huh. The one thing I don't have is the butt chin. Do I have to restart this entire thing? To make a butt chin? I no. don't have a butt chin. Just go into your That's chin the settings. One... I don't. I don't know. No, because I don't have it. Okay, I like. I like. I don't this. have butt chin. I have chip protrusion, but no butt chin. Please make it stop smiling. But it it loves to smile. What's up, Mrs. Mouse Guts? Oh, and Miss Mouse Guts, thank you for stopping by. I had to say thank you <laughs> for donating. Thank you for uh for your donation. Thank you so much. I really, really super duper appreciate it. I saw it yesterday during stream and was like, what? Wait, oh, I could do each of the tattoos individually? Oh no. Where's oh Oh. Oh. Uh, I can't make it stop smiling. I don't know why it's grinning at me. I don't know how to change that setting. Um, but I love that for her. Wait, so this is body tattoo, but that's face. So where is body tattoo? <laughs> is it part of the arm? No, it's not. What is that? Wait, what? Wait. I'm so confused. Okay, hold on, hold on. So this is tattoo 46. Right? Wait, what? Oh. What? Oh, what? I Wait. don't think. Just... Okay. Ah, wait. <gasps> Whoa, wait a minute. That's wild. So that's that, right? But what this really is, is it's a body tattoo moved up? That's so crazy. Does he have... Okay, does does he have... I like this Chest though. hair. No, he's no, a he smooth, doesn't. Okay. supple young lad. Ah, this is second tattoo. 
Oh, now I have to change the lips. Oh my god. Thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has a mirror setting? Is that what this is? Wait, hold on. What is this? Because it's like doubling. Tiling. Oh my god. Guys, these settings are crazy. Look, I have the... What What show was this from? The little spiral with the words coming out of it? Was that Naruto? I have the thing sealed inside me. Oh. Oh my god. Pretty, pretty prisoner. Booty, booty. Okay, so we remove <laughs> that's, tiling. That's who I made. <laughs> we remove tiling. Right, so it's one. Okay, hold on. Let me remove this thing. And then we... Whoa. We resize it, right? And then we reposition this to the center. I had the thought to put it on my belly because that made sense. But I feel like that's going to give a connotation to somebody somewhere. And I don't oh, want that. <laughs> ah, it's because the vertical scale is wrong. Oh, you know what? Maybe maybe it's better if I just message on my phone because it is lagging on. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, so perfect. Perfect. You pretty prisoner. <laughs> That's uh, what I made. <laughs> mm hmm. I like this. I gotta say, I'm a fan of this. I'm also a fan. Of this. I like character customization. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go back. To I hair. want these the ones on the arms to be more matte. Wait, what's this? I think this one, this hairstyle fits more. Okay. Right arm tattoos. So I want these to be more matte. So they are too much sheen. Is this arm is this? Is this right arm? This is right arm. Go 21. Wait. Is this also that arm? It is. 21. Oh yeah, there we go. Wait, maybe that's too matte. 42? Optimization. 55. Okay, 55. I like 55. There we go, yeah. yeah. It's just a little too glossy. 80 or whatever it's at is too glossy. So we go 55. Guys, this character creator is great. You should all go character create. Do I like? I don't know if I want like tattoos. What is mogging? Mog. What does mogging mean? Where is, are you seeing that? Um, I don't know what that means. Where did you even see mogging? Um, uh, that was a message sent. Like pogging? Me? I don't know. Where did, was it sent to you? In the group chat. I don't know. It's on Steam for free. Free release character creator. So you can have your character and pawn ready for when the game releases. Boom. All right. Sorry, I had to send messages, guys. You're correct. This character goes hard. I love all this. I love the cursed concept. <laughs> I 
What do you mean cursed concept? You mean mind curse concept? No, or... I'm making a cursed character. <laughs> it's not all about you and handsome Squidward, okay? It's no longer handsome Squidward because... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, belly scar. Guys, this is so good. Hold on, I need to rotate it. It needs to go at this angle. Let me have to scale down tighter here. I need this to go over the shoulder. Rotate more. I need to put this on... Um... Tighten more. <laughs> oh, I gotta check the body. It's... Is this muscly enough? I need it to go over the shoulder. Getting it to... There we go, there we go, there we go. I don't think he has a Mac or so. I think that's one thing he doesn't have. He doesn't have a Mac. There so. we go. That's the angle I want that scar, kind of. What's no, it's death? still wrong. No, it's skinnier. Still yes. wrong. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, there. We should have more chest tattoos. I see a person. Yeah. Oh, I just realized it's Denko. Hello, Denko. Good to see you. I could tile oh, it. Oh, wait. What Multiple does he have? Does he have? Does he have blush? Does he have blush? I don't know. I have to check. I have to. In intensity. That's a deep pretty, scar. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. She's a nerd. Um. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. Left arm scar. Burn. Burn mark. Okay, but he is made of muscle, so... He is made of muscle. On the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, not... <laughs> made of muscle. Mm-hmm. Who's the person? Oh, Jira's here. This is Jira. If you guys Hi. want to check out Jira, Jira is over at <laughs> hold on. I'm on Twitch Reno. Hold on. Jira's over on Twitch. Why well, do you have to say it like that? TV slash Jira. Let me send. Please feel free to check out Jira over on Twitch, where she is also character creating. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you'll see the difference between us. <laughs> I between just us. saw the gift you sent in our group chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what? Uh -huh. Listen, I couldn't make I couldn't make handsome Squidward, so I settled for second best. It's so funny that Jira's over there making. <laughs> Listen, we're both making cursed images or cursed characters. <laughs> and it's just our curses are different. <laughs> are different. You're cursed by handsomeness. Oh <laughs> yeah, I need I need them to be handsome. <laughs> okay, if you're I on think... my stream, I hope you can guess who I made. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did just talk about it. We did just talk about it, but you know. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Okay, his ears have to like. I'm revealing out too much about me bit. as a person. <laughs> I'm revealing way too much about me as a person. Oh man, what does that say about me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I guess it says this says a lot about me as a person, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh god. Feminine human. You say cursed. I say beautiful. I love this. I love this character. Oh. No, 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 no. If thank you. If Donut was a if Donut was a a wolf, this is this is what Donut would want to be. 
Oh my god. Up a bit. Okay, this that's is, a fighter. Okay, good, good, good. Archer? No. Hairstyle? That's fine. Okay, what colors are his eyes, though? Because I have to get his eyes. Definitely, this is definitely a, the gray. a warrior type character. No. I. I'm thinking. I do like mages. They've made a lot of changes to mages, and I think I think it's gonna be very I'm good. Like blue, it's kind of pretty. But Ooh. I'm gonna go fighter. Mm. Uh, Voice. How do I tr how do I test it? <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Maybe there's a gray hole. Let me see if there's. <laughs> I love magic, but Bogo, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I made mine a mage, but I've been regretting it since. I might switch to Archer. You can just switch it. That's fine. Hey, he's hello. I don't know if that's from your community or not. Or for someone else. I don't know. Someone followed me. Hello. I follow you. Let me go pop in. Take a look at what's going on here. I know. They just followed me. They didn't say anything. But, like, hello. I'm making, um... <laughs> Wait, no, he does have hair. Wait, does he? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have hair. He doesn't have hair. This is like clothes. Okay, hold on. let me go to. Hold on. I need to listen. Mike. This is most important. The voice is super important. I must. I must listen. Okay, I'm kind of into that. Maybe. Maybe. Blame Donna for me being here. Zora, okay, I can't see your message in chat. You. Why is that? So Zora, I don't know why, but if you're on YouTube and you're looking at chat, if you go into... um, Oh, I should change my thing to Dun Dungeons and Dragons character creator. <laughs> Dragons Dogma character creator. Um, For some reason, Zora's chats don't pop up in top chat. They only pop up in live chat. And I don't know why. Blame Donna. Blame me? For what? Um... <laughs> I can't be blamed for, for anything. I don't know. We blame Donna for everything. It's okay. I can't be blamed for things. I'm un yes. I'm unblameable. Okay, I'm thinking. Un oh, God damn it! Oh, I gotta look him. It's okay. Hold up. All right, now he has to have like scary, like oh, God no. The brows. The brows have to go down now. Is there space? You know. Can I change my volume? Hold on. Can I change my volume? I can't change my volume from here. I need to be able to hear these voices better. I think YouTube thinks you're spam. It might. I don't know why. I, I don't know how it decides who uh, gets to be in top chat versus not top chat. There we go. Brow angle going down. There we go. Oh my god. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Hold on. There. <laughs> oh no. You weren't joking about handsome squid, or no, I'm not joking. No. But now this has changed to um okay. pretty pretty prisoner. Because unfortunately I can't make his skin blue. So uh yeah, I like that laugh. Oh well, at least Donut can still see me. Yeah, I can still see. It. I kind of like that one. I think that's the one. All right, I'm gonna finalize for now. Name. This is, this is who we're trying. Oh, to moniker make. is how you uh, are labeled by the game. This. They wouldn't possibly have donut. No, don. Don. <laughs> Doctor Wiley. Okay, I have to like actually look at. Pickle. Like, I think we have to. What do you have to do? Hmm? Uh, I don't want to give him Beautiful facial. Joe. Oh, are you trying but to like, give him I visual hair like... so that way you can make it blue? No, oh. we're not. We're, we're scrapping, scrapping handsome Squidward because oh. I can't make him blue. Oh. Let's see. Is this. I mean, this is kind of it, right? And then if we make it. I don't know what I want. M. Bison? 
I don't know what I want to name my I don't know what I want my moniker to be. Lancelot. What's the name of the uh the knight that betrayed King Arthur? What the hell? Oh Dolmut. Lissandra. Trying to get this as close as close as possible. Who was the knight that betrayed King Arthur? Pretty, pretty. I don't remember. Aurelian. Aurelian soul? No, like I'm him? never going back to League of Legends. You can't make me. Does that look like him? Does it? No. I. You know, I think I'm just not. Anya. Yeah. I don't like the face. If they had given like a like a shadow, I think that would look. Suma. They don't have that as an zombie. Option, so. Uh huh. Sonic. All right. I think you, my yeah. moniker. Will be. I know. I knew who the knight was that was tricking him, but now that you've asked the question, I generally don't remember. I don't remember what his name is. As a Fate fan, I have to know all of the King Arthur people. I say Fate fan as if I watch Fate religiously. I don't. Knight that betrayed King Arthur. Oh, it was Lancelot. Wait, do are we forced to have this uh, scar? Yes, thank you, thank chest? you, Trinity, Sir Lancelot. Thank you. On that. Hmm. Do we have to have the scar in our chest? Yes. There's a lore hmm. reason why. Do you want me to tell you? You're gonna find out very quickly, but. Oh. Uh, I think this is close to to pretty pretty. Prisoner. Yeah. Maybe the hair has to be just a little bit different. There's a very color. important reason why you are uh you have scar on chest. I like this. Don't you want me to put the apron on the drawing? Sure. It's up to you. Um I think Ava does and doesn't sometimes. I'm trying to remember Ava's art. Okay. Yes, this is gonna carry over to Dragon's Dog 1 2. Thank you. I know, I know, I want to purchase the full version, but not yet. Create a new character. All right, now we have to make our pawn. Try to find wolves hunt in the pack of risen. So Hello? this this is gonna be as close as we can get to me. Get oh wait, hold on. Let me I don't know who this while is. I'm while I'm doing this. Hi, Strider Prime. I'm going to really quickly Someone change in my, my chat. Hello, oh. welcome. Hello, welcome to Jira oh, Stream, should, should, Strider should, Prime. Should, what does that change? Oh, dragon. Do you want me to mute myself while I say hello? No. Like small introduction. Oh, I don't care. Okay, cool. I don't know what to. <laughs> Hi, Strider Prime. I'm playing Dragon's Dogma because I don't. It's about it's it's it's. When is it coming out? It comes out on the twenty first, I believe. It comes out twenty first, and I'm just doing character creations right now, and. I was trying to make handsome Squidward. That didn't work out because they didn't have blue skin. So I settled for making Done. pretty, pretty prison. All right. Booty, booty. Booty, booty. booty. Yeah, okay. I think Should I do have away? to close. That works for me. I have to close this. I have to close opera. It's... I want to make a cat man. You want to make a cat man? Kind of. Okay, so we need a dude. We can you wait no no no. I'll just use Crane. You wanna make my dude? No. Okay, so when I'm done, <laughs> what do I do? I think this is it. This is it. Um, how do I finish? L mm -hmm. close and save. Uh close this finalize, finish. yeah. Okay, we need longish hair. Ideally, we need hair that covers the eye, but I don't think we're going to get that. That's pretty close. Wait, how'd you change the, the smile and stuff? Or did, was it just you opening the mouth? It just opens the This looks like somebody I know. This looks like actually Papa, somebody I know. Papa, it's no longer Squidward. I tried making Squidward, so then, hold on, I'll send you a gift, Papa. This so is too much of a who, pretty boy. Who I tried to make. But I need that skin darkness. Uh, 
Can we use this uh... one? Oh my god. He's mewing. Birdie. He's look maxing. Yeah. yeah, we'll just use this base and we'll just work on it. The smile okay. was when doing teeth. Got it. Okay. Papa knows I can't do Squidward. It's it's not Squidward no more. Dear God. I'm so right. sad because I really wanted to be Squidward, but I couldn't make a Squidward. But now I have to make it oh, pretty, pretty is, prisoner. Your mic was doing things. I know. It's because I opened up Opera. Ah. Uh, okay, hold on. Now we have to kind of. Now I have to actually look. I wish I had my own reference. <laughs> Isn't it so funny that I don't have my own reference? I'm not a big guy. But there's like... I, I like how we made my character very generic in terms of like looks. I'm going to be with my giant queen, my character. Is, whoa, how come it seems like the male... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, why does it seem like the male character has to be bigger? It doesn't. Here. We'll go 190. That seems fair. There it is. Then I'm like a full head underneath my other character. My pawn will be That's a full like head underneath make. you. Big muscle to you. Jesus, he's so tall. He could be. Oh, but man, no, is the lady the is. Not the right color? I always play. I always have big. Well, actually, last time I had big lady and big man. Maybe I'll actually maybe I'll make another character and I'll have tiny lady. Tiny lady is a backup. OK, we'll go 190. It has to be somewhere, like, I, I don't want them to be too mismatched. <laughs> I believe it's Boogaloo without his makeup. It might be. It might be. Okay. We'll just... I think we're at, like, a okay. slight amount of muscle definition. That kind of uh, works. I feel like da, 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 we'll probably have to do the arms. Because I think the arm... Upper arms are a little wider. Oh, Okay. But not by a lot. Alright, he has to be a fighter. He has to be a fighter, because that's that's what pretty pretty prisoner is. Mm hmm Pretty pretty prisoner is a fighter. Okay. <laughs> I have to make tiny lady absolutely gremlin. I like that trope. Tiny lady that I play as and then big big me. I don't How think do my I character's that big. How do I hear the voice? Uh ah. X. Wait, now I have to hear oh, what Oh wait. Dang it. I need to hear what pretty pretty I don't remember. Okay, I have to actually like look at my character in profile to figure this out. This is too pretty boy. I'm not that pretty boy. Who you is need this? A handsome boy. I got you. <laughs> no, I'm not like <laughs> this is the wrong one. Pretty. Good. Okay, I need to listen. You got a big pelvic thrust posture <laughs> you're a pretty boy i don't know if i'm a pretty boy i don't know about that okay okay let me listen in i gotta listen to these voices yeah listen listen nope i'm like glancing over at my thing Big, strong, <laughs> pretty boy with the pink hair. <laughs> um, I think this is pretty standard. I think it's just I the arms. I feel like Gallant Knight is who I need. Gallant Knight. Are the muscles defined enough, though? Do I need to make it... Everything pretty much matched. I think it's the stance that's making this look bigger than it's supposed to. Oh, that's not the wrong one. You know, we'll just leave that. <laughs> um, I think I think that's just pretty basic. All right, movement style. 
you know. Yep, this is this is pretty pretty prisoner. Bring the arms in a little bit. How far in do they go? Two in. Knee angle. <laughs> Posture. <laughs> I love it so much. I need to. Too straight. Yeah, look about there, maybe. Shoulders are a little far back, it feels like. I'm in the weird, the weird slight flexion of the knees. Yeah, he does have like a really like, like oh. strong stanced up position. Okay, head. Okay, so now this is the part where things are gonna get weird-ish. While I try to figure this out. Because I have to translate this from the drawing. He has to go do stuff and things. <laughs> he has things and stuff that are very important to do right now. Okay. Oh, this is actually super important. <laughs> Just boom. Because nobody has to know. I mean, I could, I could use closer to what I use with like the other audios, right? When I use the other audios, I use a nice, I try to get a good narrow, narrow eye. That's too narrow. That's blinded. The squint is OP. I love the squint. It gives so much character to the character. <laughs> the way the way the character just periodically smirks at you like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Mm, the bridge is different. Higher bridge. Wider width. Wider width. Higher okay. bridge. I bridge like bump. this one. I think this one's good. This one's good. Monkier. Monkier? What? What are you talking about? How do I change? Can I change it myself? Your what moniker? To... Yeah, what does that mean? It just is moniker. Idol? Am I idol? No, I'm Moniker prisoner. is... What? Where's P? Pamela? What? <laughs> this guy looks too real. I feel uncomfortable looking at him. I do feel uncomfortable kind of looking at him. I don't like that he's got that slight smirk. Ah. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Does he have a slightly off nose? Wait, does he pretty. have like a slightly broken nose? Pretty. It's like slightly off. You guys see that? Ooh, interesting. What? It might I be... guess it's just going to be pretty, pretty. Booty, booty. Booty, booty. I love how they added elf ears. I do like that. What's moniker? What does that mean? It's like your it's like the name you go by. Mm. There's no prisoner. Is there another word for prisoner? I don't know. You can in fact have off noses in this. It's great. I like it. I like that the nose is slightly off. It gives him character. It give it gives me character. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. That's not bad. Moniker is a name people will see if they have any censorship or parental monitoring settings on play whenever they're playing. Yeah. Oh, oh god, not the hero. Yeah, because um please let's be here. I thought I always thought it just did it if it ever is like if it picked up oh, that there's sure. something in your name that's offensive. I thought it automatically did it. Maybe not. Welcome to the Uncanny Valley. Yep. <laughs> yes, Miss Mouse gets welcome to the Uncanny Valley. And what's your favorite color? Just for research purposes. I like purple. 
Purple is definitely my favorite color. I really like like lavender. It's probably like one of my favorite like shades. Mm. It's funny because I'm I used to be a... really uh -huh. find a monarch or pretty pretty. Maybe just pretty pretty princess. Oh, maybe. That sounds cool. I'll leave it like that. You know, pretty pretty princess. That's what it is. I just realized I left the mouse earlier. Yeah. Create new character. Now, if okay, I had to think so... about it, I feel like I've always got a little bit of a grin. Why is that a little bit? I wish you could do just the one corner. So I could do more than one. What? Character. Yeah. I can make another character. You can make as many characters as you want. I want to make a cat. Wait, how come it says empty? Huh? Because it's empty. What are you making? A pawn now? Oh, yeah, it's a pawn. Yeah, you have to make a pawn after you make your main character, because your main character is the one. Arisen is who you play as. Pawn is the companion that will follow you throughout the whole game. You get oh. one pawn for yourself, but mm. you can then recruit other people's pawns to bring with you. So, like, I can always bring you with me, basically, by bringing your pawn, which is why mm. that's part of why I make my character, the one I play as, like, you know, the the female character I usually use in games. And then when I make my pawn, my pawn's more closely based on me because then people can bring me along with them. Isn't that so smart? I'm so smart, oh, guys. Right. Okay. Tell me I'm smart. Everybody, everybody in chat. No. Tell me I'm smart. Oh, no. <laughs> tell him no. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just kidding. Yeah, Don't so tell me backwards. nothing. I could have had pretty, people could have brought pretty pretty prisoner with them. Well, now people are gonna bring whoever you're, else you put. I wonder if it's gonna be a melee character, and you can make One Punch Man. You're very smart. Thank you. I was uh, just kidding. You guys don't have to tell me I'm smart. <laughs> you're adorable. I don't know about that one. <gasps> I can make a Johnny. I'm making a Johnny. <laughs> Oh, hi. All right. I did this to myself. I can't be mad at you guys. I literally said to say things. That's on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have a new idea now. I'm making someone else. Mm hmm. That's pretty close. I think we're getting really close to my character. We just got to get the hair as close to pink as we can. And then, what you know. Was the one, what was the one picture of Johnny that you sent me? Of Johnny, the one where he's yeah. kind of... Why he looking... Yeah, why kinda... he look kind of... Can you send that to me again? <laughs> I gotta find it. It was in the <laughs> new the new thing of characters. You're gonna make a Johnny? I'm making a Johnny. <laughs> a Johnny. Uh, what's the what's this new set? New MTG set. Send me the picture of it so I can download it. I have to image. find it. Hold on. Where is it? It was like part of this new batch of cards that came out and they're like redoing a lot of the planeswalkers new a johnny that maybe i can find it in twitter i go to twitter will i find it hold on sorry guys i gotta find this for jira new a johnny that's that's the one that's not the picture what card is that Everyone's running around with so many abs. It's a lot. <laughs> Why does he have so many abs? <laughs> Give me that. I need it. I'm uh, making a Hold on. Now. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find the actual art. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Which one is this? It doesn't even tell me what card this is. A Johnny card. Sorry. Uh, seems like I was tan. I can't find it. Ah, I was paying attention. What happened in the two seconds I wasn't here? In the two seconds you weren't here, I made the mistake of telling everybody to tell me I'm smart. Like an idiot. <laughs> uh, Donut was explaining about making the pawn look like him and play some tech, take him along in the game. Yeah. Oh, I when found I make... it. I found it. Nice. Oh, you found it? Perfect. Cool. I just, I just did 2024 oh, uh, Ajani. Oh, that would smart. Yeah. Putting in the year would have been very smart. Okay. Sorry. Anyways. Um, oh my god, why so he do look like that? What why the he heck? look like that, right? 17. This looks like somebody else. I'm trying to think of who. Okay, so 17 might be the one. Maybe this one. 
Well, I guess, you know, this is... If people want to bring along, uh... A Johnny? A Johnny, they can. Okay, so I think we're going with 17. Is that the one I said? Who is this? Is this one of the Beatles? This is one of the Beatles, I think. And he got upset with us for complying. Yeah, that was my mistake. You dug your own grave, not lying. I had yeah. to send it to you, and you now I have to. ordered the Manny Commandus to tell me smart. Yeah, I kind of. I, I know. I know. I know. I did it to myself. I know. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's fine. See, seven. It's just too curly. There we go. That's the problem with this seventeen. This is who I'm making next. This is who I'm making next. Oh, come on. Maybe 21? Why is it not letting Can't me Can't find your skin color? I'm sorry. Oh my god. I don't know. This is hard. Because they don't have exactly what I'm looking for. This is... It's too wavy. And this has the eye cover, but it's not right. I don't know. We could always just do the tied back hair. Is it tan? It is tan. It's tannish. I, I feel like we didn't properly capture how tan it's supposed to be. Um, maybe we'll fix that in the future. There we go. That's on what I'm the, making. On my model. But it is supposed to be tan, yeah. Okay. I'm thinking we just do maybe a tied back hair. Because I just can't get a hair that matches I actually do I have worn my hair kind of like this actually in real life wow spoiler alert for I you guys how do I pronounce your name Kuroneko desu hello welcome I'm just I'm just playing Dragon's Dogma Dragon's Dogma <laughs> Dragon's Dogma Dragon's Dogma okay maybe we go oh. with this one we're trying to make a Johnny <laughs> for Magic the Gathering. Because it's straight hair. <laughs> okay. Longer face? How about this one? Oh, oh, like oh. this? What do you think? This a one? surfer then? I'm not a surfer. Too young. Okay, so now we need Too to old. somehow get pink, which is impossible. Have I played the first? Nope. I, I have not played the first. I don't play a lot of the games, so this is... This one was for free, so. <laughs> and then she's gonna make me get her the real game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is as close as we can get right there. I've never played Dragon's Dogma. All all I know is that I've seen um I've played what is it? Monster Hunter? And Donut told me that apparently that there's like some sort of insect glaive type of uh I don't know, class. Yeah, and I kind of want to do that class. If you guys haven't seen, so. there's a really cool, like, ma magic dual blade. Not dual blade, like a twin blade class. It looks really cool, and it's very insect glaive coded. Don't yeah, I gonna accidentally so... face reveal with this character creation? No, no, no. This is based on this is based on the character. The only thing you guys are getting is that I have once in my life worn my hair like this. Um, I don't anymore, though. But now maybe I'll start doing it so that way I never get caught. Be like, yeah, I don't wear my hair like this anymore, but I'm going to start wearing my hair like this again. <laughs> my secret trick is put you guys think, on the wrong trail. I think this trail. is it. I think this is the face. This is as I'm close. Kind of first. I'm pretty excited getting. about it. I'm excited too. The first game was really good. I highly recommend it. People, okay, people, you guys have time to play the first game if you want to. And I think it's on sale or it was on sale recently. I think the Capcom sale is still going on. Yeah. I don't know if Dragon Dogma is in it. Dragon's Dogma is currently under be. $5, guys. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen with all the DLC is currently $5. For $5, you can play... <laughs> For $5, so five you can have me play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. May Maybe. Maybe I do that. Maybe I, I do think that. this is... It's okay. Okay. We have no facial hair. What exactly... Okay, with this... Okay, so there's two base heads. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What's the difference between base head one and, like... Hmm? 
If there's base head one, two, and three. When you pick one, it'll then give you a series of heads based on the first head you pick, and then you pick again, and it will then permutate again. So basically, you pick one, pick one right now, and you'll see. I already picked one, and then it's, I'm on the second one. Yeah, and then it gives you a series of heads similar to that head, typically about the same face structure. You're just picking, like, facial features and hair. And the next one, you'll change the facial features again. You're just slowly whittling down to what you want. BRB, sounds good. Uh, oh, I'm yeah, taking way too long. Guys, I have to go. <laughs> Guys, I have to go. Oh, never mind. What do you mean you have to I I remember how I was... Well, I guess you weren't here. I was saying I have something to do, and I completely forgot. And I looked at the time, and I realized what time it is, but I guess I don't have to go do it right now. I can take a little bit, so... But I, I do have to wrap okay. up very soon, guys. I have been doing this way too long. This is supposed to be, like, a thing I did for, like, 30 minutes. I've been here for an hour. <laughs> guys, why do you let me do this? Why do you let me do this? Ooh. I didn't even notice. I'm going to go with three. Ooh. Hold on, guys. I'm very into this. Oh, wait. I should probably move the image. Yeah, I'm excited. I just like doing the character customization stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we have to... His fur has to be white. His fur does have to be white. We can't get exactly what I'm going for, but that's okay. Maybe we go the other way. What if we go red on the outside? And this, like, orange on the inside? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's right. different It's okay, patterns. I'm almost done with this. Okay. Nice. Mm. Any pattern. You guys are getting information. No For type? Mm hmm. For what? For Johnny. He looks like he has cataracts. Good. Oh, he has to be super silly. Max height. There's things I just can't capture with this. Can't see any of the muscles behind all that fur. <laughs> can't see how jacked he is. Those eyes are scaring me. Good. Matt, No. Uh. He got muscles. That's pretty good. E. I hate that. E. This feels too pretty, boy. It makes me upset. <laughs> this is as close as we're going to get to a proper donut. As close as we're going to get. I could just shut the eyes. That would probably be a thing, right? Just shutting them. Cheeks a little too round. I think we have a slightly too rounded cheeks. Slightly too rounded. For the character. That's a little better. And Not the smile. <laughs> I think this is as close as we're going to get. We Because we can't really get the color right for our things. That's almost a pink. I'm okay. 
And just, I think it's like the best. It's a little and lighter make, than I want him to be. Why? And making the Johnny sit pretty simple. <laughs> oh wow, it's so easy what I'm doing. It's so easy. But I think I. Oh. Yeah, I think this is fine. I forgot to check the lighting for the other character, but that's okay. Okay. I think this is good. Hey. This is this is basically donut, kind of, not really, I guess. This is the closest we're gonna get. This is the closest we're gonna get. Alright. Yeah, this is this is as close as we get here. Vocation. I think that donut would be a mage. Thief is also a possibility. Oh, color and But I think donut would be a oh, mage. Oh bye. Inclination. Um, kind-hearted. What do we think, guys? What is my inclination? Do we think I'm quick to aid allies in need? Am I compassionate, devoted, and dutiful? Am I... Am I the most obedient sort of pawn? Am I a rational, shrewd, and strategizing pawn? Characterized by oh, caution. Do I favor defense, evasion, and employing clever tactics to survive at all costs? Perhaps I'm curious, earnest, and adventurous. One with my heart on my sleeve. You know, this actually, that. this, this sounds like me. Enjoys exploring and gathering items and I was always up for a challenge. That sounds like me. I'm simple. <laughs> I'm... Beautiful, oh, thank you. I, th that's not what I mean. <laughs> Candid, flippant, and impulsive. This pawn unbound by precepts. Enjoys the thrill of combat. Tackling fierce foes head on with daring assaults. I'm either simple or straightforward. I'm either always exploring and gathering. Okay, Jira. Mm -hmm. Would you say that I am simple or straightforward? Am I curious, earnest, and adventurous with my heart on my sleeve who enjoys exploring and gathering items and is always up for a challenge? Or am I... You don't know what any of these words mean, except for maybe impulsive. And then... Mm -hmm who enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head-on with daring assaults. Well, that's what I say you are. Thank you. Go simple. I think I'm simple. What do you think? You're simple. Uh, I think I'm simple. Simple witty. Character creation picks and picks that. You can hear... Oh, I don't know. What? Are they? Hmm? Um, Kuro, Kuro in my chat is asking if character creation affects initial stats like in the first game i'm unsure it, i mean it does affect your weight which is an important stat like down the line ish right and then height also affected like what you could pick up i think if i remember right like if you were too small you couldn't five dollars for me is 50 bucks i'm brazilian oh i just saw your chat yeah um I'm unsure. I, we don't know yet. We haven't really gotten to find out. It doesn't show stats, so I'm not sure. The people here are evacuated and safe. Why does, why does it sound kind of like Gale? The people here are evacuated Maybe it is. And safe for the moment. It, it does kind of sound like Gale. Because, okay, clearly what they did here, right? If you listen, three is the bass voice. And then they apply a pitch, pitch shift when they go from... One to two is a pitch shift down, and four to five is a pitch shift up. People here are evacuated and safe for the moment. There are more who can yet be saved. It seems the rain has abated. Uh, amiable. The people here are evacuated Ooh. and safe for the moment. The people here are evacuated. The people here are the people here are evacuated and safe for the moment. Former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. I think we go with three. Danger might lurk anywhere. Mm. Where there are more who can yet be saved. Marvelously Sell. done. You never fail to amaze. You never fail to amaze. Hold on. I want to hear what the other voices are. Let's hear the straightforward voices. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. The people here are evacuated. There are more. It seems the rain has abated. It seems the rain has abated. What about the kind-hearted voice the people here are evacuated and safe there are more who can yet be saved it seems the rain has abated 
former arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Interesting. Okay. That was like a simple, simple, was simple witty. Witty three. Remain here till you give the word. All right. This is. <laughs> this is. Wait, I called the other one donut. Donut 2.0. <laughs> no. Donut hole. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna put call this one donut. And I'll change the name of the first one, maybe, because this is this is donut. <laughs> I named this one also donut. Um, is there a P for pride? Proud. Paulo. Prani. Philip. Pierre. Poison. There is no pride. Plus poison. Hubris. <laughs> Hubris. Hubris. Oh, As in pawn pawn like nut? As in pawn donut? Ooh, maybe. Oh, you know what? I kinda like that. Pawn nut. I should probably make me at some point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like actually me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um bitey face. Nose color. It's him. Nose. Bitey face. Bronco. Bushy. Babs. All right. Well. Okay. Hmm. Those teeth. Yeah. <laughs> um. Claw colors. Let's go with dog. He has claws. Oh, he does have dog. claws. Dog. All right. He got that dog in you. Oof. Got that dog in you. On. On it. Pawnee McPawn face. Alright. Pawn nut. Dawn. That's what, um. Who is it who calls me Dawn? Dawn? I can't remember. It, they, they haven't called me it in a while. Whoop. Yes. Okay. So now I have. I think this is close to me, right? Pawn nut? He needs, he needs like, better... <laughs> I love her. Wait, I got her hair pretty pink. How? What did I do on her hair? That her hair came out so pink. Hold on, hold on. Get it. Because her hair was really pink. What did I do? Did I choose... Was it one of these? So it definitely wasn't one of those, right? We need his... I could go check what I had for her hair. That's what I could do. I think it was one of these. I think I used this. And then I used a blend, maybe? I think that's cool. It's not pink, but it is a little closer, I think, than that white was. This is okay. just like this too is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna white. be doing this character mm -hmm. until all the slots are filled, <laughs> probably. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, looks better. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys. I have been doing this for too long. I was supposed to wrap up an hour ago. So, let me move to chatting. <sighs> and then I have to wrap up. 
say. Oh. Honey. Are you going to keep um, character creating, Jura? Probably. Okay. So here's I want a... to at least, I oh. want to at least make, because the two characters, well, the one character I wanted to make was Handsome Squidward, and I couldn't do that, so. Uh -huh. oh. Sorry, my character now... switched now. <sighs> now. Now I'm just on, uh, yeah. Okay. I can... I'll be right back. I can go pee. Okay. New, yeah, sorry. I I was supposed to end ages ago. Um, I just didn't. <laughs> um, okay. Let's real quick talk about next week before I wrap up. Um, I'll, I, also, hello, uh, Jira's chat. I, I will continue to talk while things are happening. Hi. <laughs> um, so, um, Sorry, gonna really quickly talk about next week and what we're doing. So next week, I think I'm gonna have a lot of stuff going on. I'm almost done. I'm sorry. I I can't wait, unfortunately. Again, my computer will be on if you want to send me it on Steam. I will respond there as soon as I'm back at my computer. Um because I, I have things I gotta do. I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately. Unfortunately for everyone, life exists and pulls me away from all of you. Um but I'm thinking next week we're going to play Monster Hunter, more Thaumaturge, Cassette Beasts. What else were we playing this week? Hold on, what did we play this week? What, what did we do this week? We did Monster Hunter, we did Thaumaturge, Armored Core, Cassette Beasts. So I think we're going to do another four days where everything is something different and then Friday we'll pick something. Oh, actually, no. Tuesday. Guys, we have a uh, treat for you. Um, it will be an 18 plus stream. But we're bringing Kem and Support Elf back. Uh, and we're going to be doing the Eating Monsters stream again. What month? Last time it was delicious in, Dra in Dungeons and Dragons. This time it's a uh, Monster Hunter. <laughs> Wait, why am I not why am I not not nodding? Oh, everything's broken, guys. Everything's broken. Guys, everything is broken. I'm not I'm not trying to not move. Can you guys hear me? Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna. Oh no. Guys, hold on. I have to I have to task manager real quick. I don't know how long it's been like that. We're going to end task. Oh no. Everything's very broken. Uh oh, guys. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm very broken. Well, I guess I'm just frozen. You're just not moving. Yeah, I know. Where? Uh. I can't even remove it. It's literally. Oh. Oh, everything's really... Hold on, hold on. Maybe I do this. I can't even... Guys, I can't even switch screens. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys. Oh. Hold on. My thing is broken. Did, did everything working? Am I... Did I switch screens? Did I come back? Am I here again? Hello? Oh, no. Oh no. A Johnny would be a fighter, huh? A Johnny would be a fighter. Okay, well, can you hear me? Can you guys still hear me? I think my OBS is, is broken. It seems to be working again. Oops, hold on. Sorry, I broke it again. I think what's happening is I'm unable to see anything going on. Okay, so you can see me. I'm moving. I'm doing things, right? Hello? Sorry. Uh, okay. I'm just going to assume we can still hear you. It seems to be working again. Okay. I'm just going to assume I can't see. That's going to have to be my assumption. Um, because none of it's working. I'm going to hope it'll let me end stream properly. But I, I can't actually do anything on OBS. So. Okay. I can see on my... 
Okay, I see on stream side when I look over on Twitch that everything's working. It's just my OBS is not working. There are many seasons you're exploring, capturing items, no. Okay, whatever. All right, so guys, next week, Monday. Thaumaturge? I'm kind hard. No, Monday we'll do Monster Hunter. Tuesday is uh, Monster Consumption <laughs> uh, with Chem and Support Elf. That'll be an 18 plus stream. Um, Chem, Support Elf, and Jira. That'll be 7 p.m. PST. Wednesday, we'll do the Thaumaturge. Thursday, Armored Core. Friday, I will figure it out. Um, oh, let me pop all my joints. Oh, God. Okay, so. Mm. Um, yeah. And again, Tuesday stream will be 18 plus. So I'm sorry if you are not uh, over the age, then I will have to see you guys on another one of those days. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's for everyone's comfort. <laughs> and it's because Kem can get a little unhinged. And then when Kem starts getting unhinged, I start getting unhinged. And then Jira also is unhinged sometimes, which feeds, we just all start to feed off of the energy. And then next thing I know, things are getting wild. So it's just easier that way. So I uh, anticipate that. But yeah, um, it's been very fun. I have been very happy to be hanging out with you guys today. Um, I'm going to do roll call real quick. Uh, hopefully it'll let me do it properly say thank you to everybody say goodbye to everybody and then we will uh stick around if you're on the twitch side we're gonna raid into jira while she completes what she's doing um hooray and then uh and then i'll have to go so let me go ahead and say my thank yous to everybody so thank you to cole thank you to uh zora thank you king Gador. thank you to lucas thank you to bugs thank you jira did i say thank you zora thank you zora thank you trinity thank you to miss mouse guts and again miss mouse guts thank you for the donation i really appreciate it thank you um thank you denko Thank you. Am I missing anybody? I'm definitely missing somebody. I can feel it in my bones. Um, thank you, Bugs. Thank you, Trinity. <laughs> Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. I'm sorry if I miss anybody. I really, really apologize. Um, I'm doing my best. Somebody was here. I know it in my heart of hearts. I can feel it. I just don't know who. Dear Lord. I'll figure it out, whatever. Um, yeah, and then thank you to the lurkers, of course. If you've been lurking, if you've been hanging out, if you've been just sitting here, leaving me on in the background, listening to my, uh, I don't know, my yammering, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I really didn't do much today. We walked around and read a lot of stuff in the Thaumaturge, but I like that, so whatever. Um, but yeah, with that said, guys, unfortunately, it's time to go. So uh, if you're on Twitch, hang around. We're going to do the raid as soon as I hit over to that ending screen. Um, and everybody else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and or night, depending on your time zone. And I will catch you all next time. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stick around on Twitch. We're going to raid over to Jira. Bye bye. Bye.